coming up this week on the Afro Journal. And bro, you, you might have to take that shit off your face. <laughs> what? You're not feeling the vibes? Your voice? <laughs> Yo. I don't know if the viewers will hear you. <laughs> Yo, you can definitely, you can definitely hear me. Feel that. Yeah, it sounded At least like, just the mouth. Keep the eyes Yeah, it sounded like this guy was dog <laughs> made or something. <laughs> dog made up vibes. Let me give you a background to actually how this role came into play, right? Like, because me, I was a... I was what you consider a miser. You know, I was a slow eater. I hate, up, I, you know, so I hate people like that. No, <laughs> I'm I'm the type of nigga that will take your food. So you reminds that I'm the person that would be taking your food. You, you know I'm saying you try to, but the thing is that like in my house too, I can fight for myself. So if you try to touch my shit, nah, you know, <laughs> rock. Just so you know when you, know, you know when three people attack your food, <laughs> that food is gone. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I start laughing at them, and that thing pisses them off more. You feel me? So oh, um, honestly. Uh, I was, I was, uh, I yeah, was, it I, I was, yeah, users. I was, yeah, users. Yeah, terrorist, just, yeah. yeah, terrorist, actually. Yeah, yeah, terrorist. I feel like. <laughs> what up? What up? What up? We up, we up, we up. We now, we now, we now. Seven up, baby girl. Hey, I was trying to rhyme, but my brain just it got that there. <laughs> But yo, welcome to another episode of the Afro Journal Podcast. We have tonight, if you're watching the video, hey, you see the energy today is, is different. It's different, you know? But I wouldn't say too much. It's your... Mm, who am I today? Who am I today? Who am I today? Mm, I'll go with Steph Curry because I like his fit at the Met Gala. You know, Steph Curry is your... Uh, you know what? Chef Chisom. Just some educate me, Jerry. <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. please ask me what I'm wearing. What are you wearing? Uh? As you can see, <laughs> um, this is you know Yeezy. <laughs> You know, Donda inspired by Kanye mm-hmm. West. You feel me? That's my mm-hmm. designer for this cloth. That's my inspiration right here. You can see all mm-hmm. the the face marks. You know, the all black. You feel me? Looking fresh. Call this Nigerian version, or you know, if you're really if you're really <laughs> feeling ballsy, you know, you can call it the uh, the Afro Journal version, right? So, yeah. So <laughs> really, it is your boy Peter Ekechuki M2. Hey, this is your. <laughs> hey, <ooh. laughs> the energy is just hitting me different today. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm feeling that oh number Lord. one album you feel me i feel like a number mm. one album mm. Mm. it's your boy peter ike took you to be a logo junior oh mm. we love it Energy. we love it we love it we love it <laughs> damn who am i shit uh who am i who am i you know in fact i'll be i'll be miss jenner tonight i know y'all don't fuck with the crashings like that but kendall did her thing her dress who? was popular. oh kendall, oh, kendall. Yeah. yeah i don't i don't do that I thought you were going to be Chris. No, <laughs> she's old. <laughs> oh, Bo Jenner today. Mm. I you mean. Mm. <laughs> the one and only. The one and only. Yeah, I mean, she looked nice at the man, the Met Gala. She you know, we just spent the last God knows how many minutes just critiquing all the outfits from the Met Gala. You know, like we're basic. Shout out <laughs> to like the basic people that we are. Shout out to Normani. I believe mm. that's her name. Beautiful. <laughs> I eat that. Was that? I mean, Peter was hitting on the Peter Young dress, though. Let me just call you out right I was, now. I mean, I wasn't feeling that dress. I'm going to be honest. That, I wasn't feeling that shit. Peter is a hater, man. That thing was nice. Nah, He's looking nice. You guys, are like, just, yes. you guys are just being too fucking nice. I'm not being nice. I liked it. But what do you think uh, about it? I liked it, too. Because I was lying. I was fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyhow, yeah, before we go too far. Let me bring you the proverb from last week. And the proverb was, the strength of the crocodile is in the water. The strength of the crocodile is in the water. What this simply means is once you put someone in the right environment suitable for them, they will succeed. At least they are more likely to succeed. It's kind of like what Albert Einstein said. Do not judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. So get yourself in the right environment for you and you'll probably succeed wisdom from the motherland all right let's yeah. get into this week's episode this week we have a, you know i think it's a very laid-back special topic though like, i think i think it's going to be good vibes you know we're going to be talking about strange things about growing up in an african household and i think obviously all of us being african even though we're bullets cameroonian 
Peter Nigerian, me I'm Nigerian. You know, it's like we all have different experiences, but there's some things that we'll definitely be able to relate to with this. You know. So who wants to start first? Who wants to start first? Who wants to go first? Like uh, something I'll, strange. I'll go first. I'll go first. You want to go first? Uh, one, one strange thing that happens in an African household is that if you dress anyhow, and bro, you, you might flogged. have to take that shit off your face. <laughs> what? You're not feeling the vibe? <laughs> your voice? <laughs> Yo. I don't know if the viewers will hear you. <laughs> Yo, you can definitely, you can definitely hear me. Feel that. Yeah, it sounded At like least just the mouth. Keep the eyes. Yeah, it sounded like this guy was dog made or something. <laughs> dog made up vibes. <laughs> Uh, let's show you about, show you about. I can't show <laughs> half of my mouth. This is inspirational cloth, man. If I'm going, I'm going all the way, man. That's 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 just where I do things. You feel me? Let me just say this one point, then I can, you know, oh, yeah, can, say I can take point, it point. All right. So before you, I was going to make a really good joke, but you guys just messed up the whole thing. Now I can't even make <laughs> ah. my joke. Just oh, say, just say, just say. say if I still if, if you come to your house looking like this, they'll flog you. That's why. <laughs> You can't call here dressing up like. Does uh, are you a masquerade? Are you? <laughs> are you a ma- exactly? Are you a masquerade? Are you witchcraft? Why? Who are you praying to? The, you know? Are you? Are you? Are you praying to Mami Wata or something? You said no. It's, it's uh, Kanye West. Oh, uh, 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 you know, it's God Kanye of the West trees. Is <laughs> you said no. It's Kanye West inspired. You say you said Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Don't flog you from. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man but i mean clothing is ruined in because i know my parents they were very particular about what i wore and they Same. you know they loved like the matching outfits with me and my brother yeah that's you know, every that's time I call, I, you have the matching fits yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean i liked it so i was like you know at the time i was just like yeah i don't know it just made you feel cool in the way like yeah yeah you're coming out but then the older you get the more you're like nah man <laughs> i don't want to do this anymore <laughs> Oh, uh, so Peter said the fits. Uh, Bole, give us one, give us one. Oh, was that his, was that your stand? Yeah, it was kind of like the intro. That was just the intro, that was just the intro. Yeah, that was just the intro. Yours can be be a serious one. (laughs) Oh, gosh, where do I start, where do I start? I can go, I can go, I can go. Okay, yeah, you go. I can go. (laughs) This one, I think this one is my house specifically. (laughs) Right. But one of the rules (laughs) was... Once you bring food to the house, it belongs to everybody. <laughs> True. <laughs> like, True. Once, like, like once True. food enters the house, it belongs to everybody. And that piece of pit, let me give you a background to how, actually how this show came into play, right? Like, because me, I was a, I was what you call that a miser. You know, I was a slow eater. I hate, up, I, you know, so. I hate people like that. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm the type of nigga that would take your food. So you're a miser, I'm the person that would be taking your food. <laughs> You, you know I'm saying you try to, but the thing is that like in my house, so I can fight for myself. So if you try to touch my shit, nah, you know, you rock. Jesus, you know what? <laughs> you, know, you know what? Three people attack your food. <laughs> that food is gone. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's what they do. Like, I mean, there's there's a certain degree of respect for Saul's property. Property, you know. <laughs> like, say soul's if, property. If my food is in the house, they're not going to just go and steal my food. Nah, <laughs> you know, like, nah, I, I don't I argue was, about it. You know, I was literally that person that would conspire against you. I mean, like, oh you, my god! I can, I can, Actually, Peter can see it. Yo, can see it. I, yo, Chica, I'm sure you. Let's let's go attack <laughs> this girl's food, man. What is she out here trying to do, man? Let's you take wow. this or you take this. Attack! Let's attack. Get, grab whatever you can grab. Because <laughs> if you just take a small portion of it, that person's you know you and if you hit that person's heart. Oh no, that 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 will hit you, man. If you just take a piece, <laughs> like like co- I mean, because we know we did get all these things very often. You know, like we had meat pie. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm. sausage roll, scotch egg, all these things. It wasn't <laughs> like an everyday thing. So when you get it to me, it's like oh. I wanted to treasure every moment I had with it. Mm-hmm. You know, but Chiba, my brother, you know that guy would just finish his thing. Wow, you know, <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's, it's kind of like Peter. Just eat it. Two, two, two seconds is gone. They are done. Boom. So me, I now bring out my little. I'll be like, right. I'll this guy is such an idiot. Stop <laughs> eating. Stop <laughs> eating. You don't see Chima. You, you can see this guy wants it. Like, <laughs> what to ask? But he knows I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. He knows I'm going to say no. So, oh, you know, the, the guy will not be vexed in his heart. I remember that. So, I think one time he complained to my dad or something. Maybe my dad noticed that I was doing it too much or something like that. My dad mm-hmm. said, okay. <laughs> Anytime we go out. Can- can you just imagine <laughs> someone complaining about how you eat your own food? I'm sure it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just yeah. like, yeah, like, can't I eat my shit again? Mm. You know, but my dad now had to make a rule that, like, anytime we go out, 
if you bring any extra food home, it belongs to the whole house. <laughs> Oh man, crazy. but that yeah, that man. Me off on the that's the life. complete opposite in my house. Like, yeah, we will write our names on our shit. Like, don't touch, and everybody knows. <laughs> Damn, nah, fam. In, in, oh, my, man, in my yeah. household, it was all war because you had war. just just imagine me having having me in your family. Like, regardless of what my parents say, you know me. I'll conspire against you, and I I'll make sure that you, either you find out directly from me, like I'll do it to your face, I'll do it behind yeah. you. So, I mean, oh, that's I'm sure you, I'm sure you're the kind of guy that like your sister will be eating and you just gotta take a plantain. Mm-hmm. I'll literally just like put my hand. Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would I'm sorry about that. She was just acting somehow with food. I just wanted to I just had to grab it. Oh my god. So what's wrong man, with that- you? That th- you know, that thing used to get them in the chest. And like you, they I, feel it in their yeah. soul. They'll start crying. You, know? like, you see the tears. <laughs> you see the tears. And the thing is that yeah, I don't, don't be, I'm like I'm like ah tears. I love it. Yeah. Show me more. <laughs> if you show me more, so sometimes the worst part is when you're fighting for the food and it now breaks on the floor. Oh my Yo, god. That's it. Even Yo. me, like that's why I tried my best not to talk like not to get to a talk of war with the food. You know, because I'm just like, yo, like, I'll hold that food very delicately. I'll be running. Because mm-hmm. I know that once someone else holds this food, none of us are <laughs> oh going <God>. to eat <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, and you know me, I'm satisfied with that outcome. I'm the kind of person mm. that's satisfied with <laughs> As long as you feel the, you know, the energy. Like, oh, energy man. to me, the energy you're giving of being a miser, you understand, of, like, trying to make me feel somehow, I'll do the opposite to you. Because I know the opposite. My, my own requires action for my part. You're being passive, right? Because of you're not taking action towards another person, it's kind of like indirect action. It's kind of passive, um, and a, a passive action. Basically, I'm taking a direct action, a physically fighting for that food from you. You feel me? To give you that kind of emotion mm-hmm. I'm seeking. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But yeah. you are using you you are using a passive indirect uh, context because of you are not actually giving a direct contact to someone else. So it's kind of like a. Uh, an indirect effect on me basically but we're still mm-hmm. kind of fighting for that same emotion you feel me yeah. it's just different positions so it's like okay if you're using that method of trying to be a miser and trying to make me feel somehow i'll be i'll use the the direct more blinted version the right one as well. and attack you because like i'm not pe- i'm not trying to do this mising game you feel oh, me man. if you don't but want to eat it i will eat it my belly is here for you <laughs> but this that's just that's literally what is called pure wickedness because that it is just stem, it stems from jealousy. That's just what it is. Yeah, jealous MF. You, you can it's, it's really jealous of, of I, I think uh, you know my statement right there. I was like, yo, you, you being a miser, you're trying to make someone feel somehow. Am I, am not I, really. Yes. Not really, no. Yes. Not really. I mean if you're eating your food normally, there's a difference between if you're eating your food normally and like me just asking, right? I won't do that to you, right? But if no, you're being a miser, Chizo, if you're being a miser, then I'm like, okay, you're trying to do something here, right? <laughs> nah, that's what I'm saying. You're like, trying bro, to do something here, bro, huh? like, <clears throat> Okay, I got for you. Me, for, me, for me, when I was misering, right, my goal was not always to... I mean, yeah, I knew there was the element of annoying uh, Chima. You know, mm-hmm. like, there was that element there, obviously. As a younger brother, I had to do it. It is what it is. I don't bro, know why he, I had that, to That's do the whole point. It, you have had to do it. You had to do it. No, but what I'm saying is that that's the whole I knew point it right existed. I, that was a, no, what I'm saying is I knew it existed, but it wasn't my goal. My goal really was just to elongate the time that I have. I get to interact with this food. You know, I'm not trying to just boom, eat it, nah, and it's, it's done. Triggering. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but then I also know that people will be looking at me while I'm eating because mm-hmm. they've already finished their own and they want a piece More. of the pie. And that telling them no is somehow fulfilling as well. Chuso, <laughs> Chuso, do, you know do you know the morality of these things? You know how people are like fighting for like, or oh, the rich mm-hmm. are too rich? That's basically mm-hmm. what you have right there. You have the wealth, <laughs> right? You are too rich. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we we both rich. have the exact same amount. No, 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 no. You're wrong right there. The only thing is you squad that yours. I'm like the and wise you still budget. Have yours. <laughs> yeah, and I still have mine. That is perfectly fine. This is this uh, that is food war. You feel me? That is this food is war. war. That is food battle right there. As you can clearly see, you are you have an abundant amount. You can go around. Oh, man. It, it, it becomes uh, socialism at that point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when everything is fair and equal and we have everything, that's capitalism, right? Capitalism. That's yeah. capitalism. But when you are the only one left and you're trying to save up for hours, not eating that food, 
save it up, pocket it, that stuff uh, where anyone, where everyone can enjoy something. Nah, that's that. <laughs> that is some you know Jeff Bezos, no, Elon Musk type of shit right there. Yeah, we need to you I, know I mean, Bill Gates. We need to you know do co- some communism or some socialism to cut that stuff. Even though socialism. me personally, I don't believe that. This is all you know reference and you know. <laughs> no, or, uh, okay. Just clarify, okay. clarify. Just to clarify. <laughs> But like you know, that's what you know. Sometimes you just have to you know become socialist and a communist and just take that shit, take that you, by force. That thing, man. But it is what it is. I mean, I know my dad. He did it just to just to create more peace in the house. To be, mm. <laughs> to be Shout honest. out to Chima, though. Just, just for less <laughs> less fights and all that. Oh, man. Yeah. So how, they, they, so how did he feel when Chima took that shit? Oh. I mean, he tried to take it, but it was always a fight. No, like, no. Actually, he did try to take it, like. He's not like you where he would try to take it by force, oh, by you know? Yeah. But, like, he would try to be like, you like, you know, like, do this. He would try to convince <laughs> me to give me love, try to finesse all these things. And then yeah. if I don't, he would get pissed. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm not that kind of person. But, me, but, he me. De- but he never really, like, tried to snatch it, like, like uh, actually snatch it. <laughs> now nah, you got to do the reverse psychology. If you don't finish your food, I'm here. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, I do that, but, too. No, but, but the thing is that he knows I'll finish it. We yeah. probably tried that with my sister. Yeah, <laughs> like, bo- bo- exactly what I believe is saying is like, exactly right like i know the intentions <laughs> you are doing i can clearly read your mind we know each exactly. other so and i know that you don't want me to cross this line mm. but you've already crossed my line right of being a oh, miser crossed your whole life by still having my food you've crossed the line <laughs> of being a miser of trying to tempt me to do something i tried to make me pissed off of asking <laughs> not today you think i will cross that line i will slash that food you know when you do running around the house that's what if we are if we had just a way brother i would have done that so many oh, times i would have destroyed the house i would have oh, run God. around the whole house just are you know, just me, hold me like this i'll just put the whole thing in my mouth <laughs> That thing though, like honestly, yeah. that could be a bit of a door later. So I can see it. <laughs> that this nigga will literally carry my shit put it in his mouth. <laughs> oh, he will start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, Jesus I Christ. Mean, I mean, I, what, what, my, my sister used to say that she used to dislike me when I was, when we were younger. I was like, I understand why he disliked me. Honestly, <laughs> dislike, I feel like dislike I is even a nice word. <laughs> like, I'm sure she hated you. Yes, I was such a, I was such a, I was such an annoyance, a nuisance. You feel me? It's what yeah. I, I saw that I like got into my mid teenage area. That's why I stopped doing all this kind of shit. But like when we were young, oh my mm. god, I was like, I'm ready oh. to traumatize. <laughs> I'm ready You're to ready take to over. Traumatize. You feel me? Oh man! If you do me, oh my gosh, ten times <laughs> I go do you. You feel me? I'm ready. I do you. And you know, but no one can. It, and the twenty things that when you establish that kind of thing, no one can do it back to you because you're already on that same level of zone. You, you feel me? Yeah, I yeah, mean, because so for them, because for them to do it back to you, they have to be on your level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They have yeah. to like kind of start acting like you, like try yeah. to be a nuisance as well. But not everyone wants to be a nuisance. Yeah, not, Some not, people I, actually want to be nice people. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was yeah. the only one. I was the only nuisance. Oh, God and, damn, man. And it was just, it was just like I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. No, karma is coming for you, man. Karma is coming for you. <laughs> I mean, karma, karma already. I mean, uh, I mean, no. Look, 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 look. It's not as if karma came. It's like we. It, it was just growing up I had to do, honestly. I was just, <laughs> you know. Oh, was, yeah, just that. I don't know. It was just when I entered um, Nigeria Secondary School, that's when it just hit the mask because I started being a lot more opinionated. If you mean, to talk more, mm-hmm. you feel me? So, and I was just like, honestly, man, if these people are trying something with me, man, if they're trying to take <laughs> me, just take that shit. It didn't help that they were girls, too. And I was not like the older brother. Mm-hmm. So that was just a dynamic that was because if they were, if you was just imagine my younger brother trying to take my food, I'll just slap the shit out of you. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Just slap the shit out. But they were younger girls and they can punch me, they can hit me. But you know, I just, you it doesn't can. feel me anything. It doesn't really do anything to me. So I'm just like, ah! I start laughing at them and that thing pisses them off more. You feel me? So oh, um, honestly, I, I was, I was, uh, I yeah, was, it I, I was, yeah, I was, it I was, yeah, it used us. Yeah, terrorist, just, actually. Yeah. yeah, terrorist. I feel like yes. <laughs> if there was a child prison. Do you know, do you know Loki, <coughs> why? Because I was given the most responsibilities at some point. Like, mm. in, I was just like, every, like, you know, my sister is a girl. So that girl dynamic mm. is there. Mm. You feel me? It's like, oh, Jesus, oh, you're, you're, the, you're the man of the. You know, oh, you're the first son. No, 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 no. I was just annoyed by all this inconvenience of me being so so and so. I have to do this kind of shit. So, so yeah, so yeah, to that be the users as I well. I was like, okay, you guys are getting, you guys are <laughs> getting. Like, oh, I bet to be the responsible one, right? Okay, I got you. <laughs> oh, it's good. Like, 
<laughs> you guys are direct getting, opposites. You, it's, I, was, I was exact, exact. I was like, you guys are getting special treatment, she. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll clearly point it out to them. I was like, you guys, you can see one me and daddy are telling me, right? Look at what you guys are doing. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll get my own. I'll get my own one with another. So, one time, uh, sorry, shout out to my older sister, but like, I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> my, sorry, my younger sister. She, when she's hearing this story, she'll start laughing because we, we laugh about it right now. Uh, but when we were young, there was one period of time I just started laughing at her. Like, just randomly. It was a Sunday, you know, came back after church, I was just looking at her. I just started laughing. And she started chasing me around the house. I started crying. <laughs> I was like, why are you chasing me? <laughs> she started crying. Because I was, I didn't know what? what I did. But the way I was laughing, I was laughing like as if something, as if it was the funniest shit that I've ever seen in my life. And it was straight at her. You feel me? Oh, oh my, my God. God. I, was such, I, was such, I was such an asshole. I was just <laughs> laughing straight at her. <laughs> and, and she was just like, what's wrong with you? And we started running, 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 running. And my parents like, why, why are you, why are you guys running around? What's wrong with you guys? I was like, I, actually, my younger sister was like, to my, to my dad, was like, Chipsa is laughing at me. I don't know why he's laughing at me. <laughs> Tell him to stop. I don't like him laughing at me. My dad is like, Chipsa, what's wrong with you now? Don't you know you're the older person of the house? And blah, blah, blah. I was like, but I, technically, I didn't do anything wrong. That's what I was thinking, man. I'm just laughing. You feel me? What's wrong with just laughing? Then I got triggered, <laughs> you know, because my dad is shouting at me. And I got angry myself. So I was like, you know, why you keep quiet? We are silent, like you're just boning face because you can't really say anything to your dad. So, okay, the fall is not over. So, okay, I'm actually, I remember. I remember what you just did right there. You know, because, you know, the, the parents are your only defense at that point. So, okay. Honestly, I was, I was, I was a nuisance, man. Look, I'm just exaggerating this, obviously. Wait, ma- she's ma- frozen. Oy. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, technical difficulties, technical difficulties. I don't know. This I don't know what it is. This is not even technical difficulties <laughs> again. I don't even know what to call this. This is <laughs> well. This is a this, just difficult. This is a system. It's just difficult. <laughs> this, this is a failure in the system. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! A huge update. We need an update. You know, a a, a malware uh-huh. update, man. You because this he has to donate to that project so that we can afford more. <laughs> <laughs> more complicated systems oh my gosh well uh, yeah but welcome back um <laughs> i don't even know what to start but uh, like i was saying previously let me just start again like yeah. i was saying with my younger sister so yeah i was the terrorist of the house you know um uh, talking on my nonsense talking on my shit you know being mm-hmm. a nuisance but when you go older like i was saying before like you know i grew out of it you know we're a lot more closer right now shout out to my beautiful sister you know you know where you are you know looking looking fine as hell you know mm. you know looking you know with all the brains in the world too you know <laughs> s tier kind of woman s tier mm. kind of S-tier. woman. So shout, out that. Like that. so shout out to her um <laughs> yeah oh, so how about you guys what other other you know things ha- happened that were strange i mean uh, i mean I, I guess we gotta go just just trying to go along the same lines did you guys have a system of like sharing food when you guys were younger Definitely, definitely. We didn't it's really. Definitely. How many siblings do you have, Bole? Yeah. I have two younger sisters. Two yeah, I think I think girls are much more. We were very easy. Like we didn't yeah. fight. We didn't do like you the most fight. we would do was just like not talk to each other for like three hours or something, and Damn. then we'd be fine. Damn, if really? you if you had boys, uh, yeah, they have more energy in that house. Yeah, like you, <laughs> get, you, <laughs> get, you, get, you guys did have more. I mean, boys. my mom is also crazy, so if we did anything, like <laughs> she'd be following us with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel that's like every African house. That cane stuff is a constant. <laughs> you know, everyone has she that. Just wasn't that with was, the that bullshit. Was never, it's never <laughs> weird. They just normal. Mm-hmm. That's our normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but yo, growing up, the way we used to do it was. When we're sharing for legacy, my dad brings me pie for all of us to share all five of us. Like all of you share this stuff. The youngest is the one that shares the food. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the oldest picks first. Yeah, yeah. Right. So but the way it was is but what happened though was just because my younger siblings were a bit too young to really share properly. Mm. I was a guy that always did the sharing. Mm-hmm. For the most part, you know, my sister at some point she grew up and she was old enough to actually share. Yeah, yeah. And that thing pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. But then she now <laughs> You know, but me, you know me. What? What is time to share? You see me, I bring up my all my equipment, my my ruler, <laughs> my compass, my divider, my vernier caliper, yeah, yeah. my, <laughs> my magnifying glass. He has he has weight, uh, <laughs> weight, 
with my skill. <laughs> he has weight skill. He, he, he also has like you know what do you call it? Uh, he measures the density of the meat to make sure everything, everything is right. <laughs> the volume. Yeah. He makes sure the volume right. is right. Make equal. Sure the volume is nice, <laughs> density. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as that is a pitch tumor of words. Like that, just shit. <laughs> Why you? I, the things you are meant to big, but they need to be bigger. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I'm just like, nah, oh, bro. Yeah. Nah, bro. Because you know, like, he's the one that has to choose first. So when I measure that thing, mm, the equal. Share uh-huh. it well. The but, the th- but the thing, though, is what <laughs> I normally do it when it's between me and him. Right? But then for the rest of my siblings, I make them out. Not like I make it smaller, you know, but. You know, like you can see the difference between <laughs> Chiba and Chiba, and then the <laughs> <laughs> that is mad, nah, nah. And then the rest of the, then the rest of the guys. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I couldn't. I, I mean, but the thing is, my sister started doing that when she started sharing. So yeah, <laughs> it was all fair game because at the end of the day, is who you sh- who shares it. Nah, mm-hmm. nah. nah. And then you get you, to you, you can't you can't even get away with that kind of thing in my household because we're all, we're all <laughs> close to each other, you know, age wise, yeah. like from what. From the from one to four, the difference is like seven years. You feel me? Mm. So like when we're like asked to share meat, it's like you have two other people making sure that stuff is looking right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You make sure that stuff is looking right. And yeah. you know, like if my younger brother was to share that stuff, I'd just be looking at like check out. You better make sure that stuff is equal, man. <laughs> I was like, you know, you know, like when you fuck up, <laughs> when you fuck up in sharing the ticket, you just start pulling, pulling oh, from others, pulling, pulling from <laughs> others, <laughs> and making it equal. Cool. Yo, that's it. I was like, that's yo, it. man. So poor Chiba was like, no, that's not allowed. That's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that once you cut it, that's the end. Exactly. <laughs> you <laughs> cut it, that's the end. <laughs> and then sometimes you, you, sometimes you mess up and you're trying to now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to it out. Readjust. <laughs> Oh. oh my god but this we also have the flip thing when it came to work and chores mm-hmm. i don't know if you guys because i don't know if you guys divided chores amongst yourself or if you had mm-hmm. house yeah 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 we divided right. i mean mine so was 50 50. i mean the way it worked for us was i mean we had things we had to do that like, clean the living room clean the dining room clean the kitchen clean the rooms all of that so all that was the chores that we had to do all the kids had to do it mm-hmm. so we now so the way we did it was the youngest sorry the oldest will now share the work but the youngest would choose first. Okay. Damn. That make yeah, that makes that in? makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That makes so it's like okay, you divide it however it's meant to be done, and then we we'll start from the youngest, and then they start selecting what they actually want to do, and then all the way up to back to the older. So it was flipped when mm-hmm. it came to chores. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you would. I don't know if that was common in other households, but I know that's what we did, and that was something that I found very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I mean, actually, you know, like in my household, my my sister was the one, like my older sister. She was the one to divide the task, and she was the one to tell like people what, <laughs> what task what to do. So, do? Like, ah. so like she was the That's pure cool. commando. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I, I used to get angry, but like, how can you give me this kind of job? I was wrong with you. Like, and you know, she'll not be the inspector because my dad would be like, "You guys should inspect <laughs> yourselves." You feel me? She's the she's the superpower. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like you know, my, <laughs> you know how girls are like, you missed the spot mm-hmm. here. She's like, "Oh my." <laughs> God. The thing with girls is if you give them a little bit of power, they will that <laughs> shit and roll with it. Mm-hmm. Like they will, mm, they will, mm, they will make you feel it. Like yes, I'm <laughs> Madame in charge. That's facts. Oh man, yo, but then, I mean, my sister, my sister was very chill. She most of the time when it came to work, mm-hmm. like it was just. I was, I, she was just. I mean, maybe because we're just a bit older, because it's a three-year gap between me and her. Mm-hmm. So I think there was some tangible aid difference there. Okay, mm. you know, so it was it wasn't that much issue, but but we fought a lot though. But let's, that's you and your, you and your younger sister, you fought. Yeah, we fought. I mean, not fought, more like more like she fought me, and I'll just play. With her. <laughs> 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 I feel that. 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 Kind of like, yeah, but I have to make it look good for her, though. You know, when yeah. it's like just to keep her entertained. Yeah. You, you, you have to make it look competitive. <laughs> look competitive. <laughs> Exactly. Now, man, Obole, what's the weird things that you guys did in your household? Um, Since you guys are so peaceful. Honestly, my family's so chill. Like, we really didn't have any issues. But um, I would say one thing is, like, my parents having us remind them to do their own things that certain, that they're supposed to be doing. Oh, we right? got that too. And then they'll get upset at us yeah, when yeah. we forget we'll to forget. remind them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to do their own tasks. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense. I remember one time my dad was on the phone with somebody and 
he told me to like he was like mami because he calls me a mami because i'm named after his mother right so he's mami remember this date time location da 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 for me and i'm just sitting there playing on my video games not even you know just minding my own business Mm -hmm. i'm not even cluing into what he's saying he gets off the phone now he's coming not even like it was maybe like 30 45 minutes later i've already forgotten what i was even supposed to remember yeah he's coming now what was that that i told you to to remind me about (laughs) That pressure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really feel that pressure when your parents ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, you just be like, yo, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're yelling at me, but it wasn't even my issue to begin with. <laughs> it is your issue is their, their issue is your issue automatically. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but that's the bold mistake you already made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like their issue is your issue too. <laughs> that just is, is what it is. That's growing up in that African household what the what right mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man well, Peter, did you have any other weird things that you guys did uh one weird thing that I did is that when my dad comes back I don't know if I, I, this definitely doesn't happen in other people's home so like when my dad comes back from work right and like he you say have issues. They, just let, let me tell the whole story <laughs> <laughs> so all of us so the boys these are the boys because the girls are you know it's my dad so the, so the boys are the ones that you know take charge of whatever our dad says so mm-hmm. so it's usually me and chica it was like you know when your dad buys stuff at night so we have to carry it into the house right mm-hmm. and my dad would leave his suitcase in the car and all his files mm-hmm. and i would ha- and me and my younger brother would have to be the first to carry it upstairs into his you know, room and stuff like that mm-hmm. so carry his suitcase his his all his files and stuff like that and carry it upstairs and we had we don't have to like you know make sure that the car is locked you know sealed and stuff like that mm-hmm. Then we take it. Then you not cause. Now you not be sitting there on the couch, like you know, chilling, rubbing his head, like you know, like long day at work. He's coming back <laughs> at nine p.m. You feel me? And his legs yeah. are out. He said, "Chibuzo, come take off my shoes." <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, this is this happened till I was like I don't know fifteen. <laughs> like, this is actually a fifteen year old boy. Like your father is coming to take to come take off his shoes. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, like you know, it is what it is. Like I'll just be rubbing his shoes. <laughs> Sure, sure, this is really sucked. sucked. It's like, ah, oh, man, it's like, actually, my toes are too long. Got the nail clipper. I uh, hear that say, like, it can be any of us. It's like, I uh, come cut my nails. Like, cut my nails. What? I will have to cut his nails. I don't know if you guys got that. He has cut your nails. Say, cut. That's crazy. Cut, cut, his, cut his nails. <laughs> yeah. Wild. Yeah, like, I mean, I sometimes it does be like, you cut my nails. <laughs> you feel me? Like, make sure it's looking clean. <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm a dad, Honestly, I'm a dad's I'll add that to my list. My, I'll, I'll add that to my list. My dad's feet <laughs> are ugly. Like, just imagine, like, Africa boy, like, ugly, ugly, ugly. I just like, bro. Kind of like yours. No, my like feet, my, my, I have beautiful feet. I have beautiful, uh, sexy feet. I mean, shout out to all the guys with feet fetches and all the girls with feet fetches. Know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Subscribe to my. I don't have only fans. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have only fans. I don't have only fans oh. yet, man. But yeah, so and I was just like, bro, man. Used to call your dad's nails up dead. Yeah, I used to call my dad's nails. Like I, I, mean, I remember a few times he told us to cut his nails. Like this wasn't like a, a daily like thing, right? It's yeah, like it's like probably happens like probably like once a year. You know, I mean? it's like mm-hmm. just something that is just random. It's like I need to cut my nails because he does this himself too. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but it's like I need to cut my nails. Akarekam, Amarachi, Chibuzo, Jiga, come cut my nails. You don't have to get up. Got this nice for him. You know one thing I enjoyed? What? Even low-key to this day, but it is, I, I don't live at home anymore, so I can't even do it again. Right. Like, whenever my mom cleaned my ears, like, I don't know. Oh. Reason, it's just <laughs> like, you know, you just kind of like, just sit down, relax. She would, like, she would carry me on her lap. <laughs> and like, it's, it's almost like a therapy session for me. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that feeling right there of like a, a mother's touch is, yeah. I know what you mean. You know, I, you know the same thing is like, <laughs> It's like when you're like a lot older and you want to sit mm-hmm. on your mom's lap, and she oh and, you, and she doesn't allow you to sit on her lap. It's like, oh, like, like you're too heavy. It's like what is right? But you know you like it. It's just like you're just chilling with your mom. What I do now, what I do now is I don't sit on her lap. I just lie down on her, on her belly. Oh, I just, yeah. I just chill. <laughs> <laughs> you're just so relaxed. So, I know, know what you mean. Like, I don't about like just being around my mom like mm-hmm. that. Just. I don't want to talk. I don't. I just want to sit down. I'll we'll probably just sleep off. Just yeah. walk out. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I know. Ex- oh. I know exactly what we had. You know. Or, or one thing is, one weird thing that we used to do too is like fight for who is going to sleep with the parents on their, on uh. their own bed. 
I don't know if you guys got that. that too. We did that too. We did. <laughs> we used to we fight. Like the siblings was like, oh, I'm going to sleep with mommy. Like, I'm like, you know, yeah. the youngest was like, no, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's like, it's not your turn. You slept yesterday. But you know, you guys are not like, you know, you guys, the first person, basically, the first person to sleep on their own bed is the one that wins, right? Because you can't tell them. You can't forcibly remove them. Even though Loki sometimes I did, but you can't forcibly remove them. <laughs> you get up, up, up in bed. <laughs> I was in. Oh, I was such a. I was. I was just. Like, I, was, I was just. I was just annoyed. Just like, imagine you're sleeping on your parents' bed, and your brother just comes and drags your legs. <laughs> I was like, get out of here! <laughs> because you want to sleep. Because I want to sleep there. Yeah. Oh man. Yo, you know what? Like if it. What my parents did after a while is just because like, we're just like, okay, this is too much. They're, they're trying to chill on the bed by themselves. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, bring your mattress to their room. Mm-hmm. I'll put you on the floor. Oh. And then you can sleep on your mattress there. Oh, that's, no, what, no. that's what they decided at some point. Yeah, you I know. know. So we used to do that. So we used to do that. Too. So maybe like, it'll now be maybe three of us that will get a chance to sleep in their room at the same time. No. Just because we can all share one mattress. Mm-hmm. You know, but that, that was so interesting. <laughs> interesting. That it's funny that you guys did that too. You guys fought to sleep. Yeah. I don't know did you guys do that. It's different because you know I grew up here yeah. in the US. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we all had our own beds. <laughs> no, we sleeping mommy and daddy's room. rooms. I mean, we all had our own beds, right? We all had room rooms, but we all well, we all like to sleep in the same. Like all the siblings, except when when we got a lot older, we started sleeping separately. But when we were younger, we only wanted to sleep in the same room. You know what I mean? No, we didn't. Like <laughs> I used to sleep in the same bed with all four of my siblings. Oh yeah, same. Like all four of my siblings, like, like I mean, I have five, but the five was just a child, like it was mm-hmm. a baby, so she had her own private scene, right? Um, but like all four of us, like when like they were close to each other, we all slept on the mm-hmm. same bed, and we used to fight for cover. Uh-oh. That's one thing I remember. We used to fight for cover, and you know, like when that, that takes flight, and like there's no electricity, and it's now hot. There's no generator, no nothing. I'm I'm the person. I'm the kind of person I'll sleep with the blanket with the duvet. On you. On me. I will sweat on the duvet. Sweat. <laughs> sweat. Because I just like having duvet cover my body. You feel me? Like, I, I can't sleep yeah. without... I can't sleep with the duvet. I can't sleep no, just I'm like the that. the same way. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I... I, 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 I and I didn't even care. So, I'm, that's something that, you know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wake up soaked. Soaked. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> soaked. And I like it. I was like, Ben, I'm sweating now. Now go have my bath. That was a good sleep. You feel good. Yeah, that was a good yeah. sleep. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I mean, we we shared rooms all the way up to I mean, pretty much my whole life. But then at some point, I think when we moved to Lagos, we now had uh, we still shared rooms mm-hmm. until no, we moved to a new house in Lagos. Then we now had the guys' room and the girls' room. Does that make sense? It was my sister and my youngest, like my two younger sisters. I mean, my younger sister is my like my cousin. But you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? My two younger sisters and then the guys, me, Chima, my younger brother. Mm-hmm. Room. We just so we had our room and then they they, they had their room so that's what we st- were still sharing room technically but we had at least some kind of divide there where the girls got their privacy mm-hmm. and then we were just oh yeah like that, that girl privacy thing like caught up so fast like, oh yeah you know like when you get to the point of like you know the girls are oh the girls are showering you can't enter i was like what yeah, yeah, yeah that, <laughs> <laughs> it's like why can't i yeah, enter what, what did that one start <laughs> yeah when, when did that one start i was like what are you guys doing here man? i can't go in what i can't go in <laughs> you know what i mean like, oh man i'm just like this you is wrong you know the funny thing though is like, me, I, you know me, you know i'm such an asshole what <laughs> you'll be entering i'll enter and i'll take a shit <laughs> No, but the thing is that the, Guy, the, the, what? the toilet was like fire. Like, just imagine the, our, our bathroom was basically half of an apartment. Like, just imagine an apartment in one uh, yeah, bedroom remember, apartment. Yeah. Like, Wait, the, the apartment. That's the, a big bathroom. The, the bathroom was big. Like, it had like a, a tub, it had like a shower, and it had like a, uh, what do you call it? What, you know what was? Uh, the toilet. The toilet, as well as, you know, the stuff that you pee on. That's like British people peeing. It's like kind of like a the, bowl. Um, a, a, a duvet, urinal? a duvet, or whatever it's called. Oh, the, oh, the, the urinal. The urinal stuff. You know, what I mean, mm. you know, you guys, mm. people who know who know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like people, no rich people. <laughs> <laughs> so we have that. So like, and like the the way the bathroom is split is kind of like it is like kind of like a a, a wall, but it's open. Doesn't imagine there's supposed to be a door, 
in in, in that wall. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, but there's no door. Mm-hmm. So on the other side is the toilet and stuff like that, and the other side is where the bathroom and you know, uh, the bathtub mm-hmm. and the shower are. Shower and everything. So like, and there are two doors, entry doors, trying to go into the place. So I will just use yeah. the other side of the door where the ba- where the toilet is. And mm-hmm. like you know, the other side is where the shower is. So, but okay. like you still don't want to enter because like they're invading your privacy, right? Yeah, privacy. Yeah, no, but I'm just like yeah, I beg, yeah. man. I need and mind, mind you, there are like multiple toilets in this house. I'm just like, oh, yeah. so you could have got to. I could have got to but, but honestly, the, the ones in our parents' bathroom is like the best one. It's the most comfortable oh, yeah. one. The, per- the parents one is always, always the best. It's the most comfortable yeah. one. Like, there's always a difference. Yeah, and like when you sit on that seat. You know, when you sit on the toilet, you feel like, ah, very comfortable. Right, this is, uh, you, you know, know right. I, you know, when you flush, it works. <laughs> <laughs> right, that Actually, is what it. Like, can we talk about that? Yeah, we'll pack that for a second. <laughs> the taps always went bad in our bathroom. Mm-hmm. Every single, I don't know if it was low quality plumbing that we had, mm-hmm. but the taps are always bad. The showers barely worked mm-hmm. and the water heater also barely works. That thing is piss me. You have to mm-hmm. actually physically boil water and put it in the bucket before you take a shower. <laughs> Like, bro, we yeah. have a whole water We have a whole shower. Mm-hmm. Like, why is this happening? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm mean, exactly. That hot water thing is so true. That's why I always wanted to bath in my my parents' bathroom. Because I was like, I'm not out here trying to. Because the you know the heater, the water heater, just be active somehow messed up. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, I'm not about to bath with cold water because I cold hate water. bathing with cold water. Even though you you have to do it sometimes because there's there's no hot water in the whole house. <laughs> But like you know, if I had the option to you know bath with hot water, I'm like taking that opportunity every single time. Definitely. Oh man, but <laughs> that was real though. Like, cause even with um, what's it called? Like, I don't know if you guys had any rules, like weird rules for like, like my mom always made us shower at a specific time in the evening yes, every day. Yes. Same. Same. It's just like at 5 p.m. you must have taken a shower. Yes. And in my head, I never did it. <laughs> and she flogged me every single day. Yes. I mean, but I just still would not do it because I'm like I'm st- at 5 p.m. I'm still playing football. There is no way in hell. Oh, you I'm got going to have showered at 5 you go, you got flogged every single. I mean, the good. I mean, when I say every single day, I was just like I mean consistently at least for a season. Yeah. Because she's like, just so make sure you shower at 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. Five people come. I'm still outside playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she'll come back. She'll flog me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next day, we'll repeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to me, it was just like the football was just. It had to be played. It had to be played, man. Just on those ones, man. Just on those ones, man. It had to be played. Just on those ones, man. Played. I cannot shower at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I, I think once I start playing, I'm not stopping. I'm not going to be like, oh, let me go shower mm-hmm. and then come back. And then come back. And yeah. Play. Yeah. yeah no. I mean, when you when you shower, your day is over. It's not going outside mm-hmm. again. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. I don't know. To this day, I don't know why it had to be 5 p.m. I feel like maybe seven, eight. PM no, I, I think, nice. I think it, I think it's just a rule because they want you to eat dinner around six, yeah. six ish, and yeah. six, seven, and they want you to go to bed at we nine. We eat dinner at six. We eat dinner at like maybe eight. Yeah, you, we eat sometimes. Yeah. That's when the food yeah. is not ready, though. But if the yeah. food is ready, you can eat around like six, seven. Like yeah, I, 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 nev- I never really ate dinner at that age. Mm. Like six for dinner was that be that's like, that's like dinner. What was the mixture of lunch and dinner? Brunch, dinner. yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that's what's called. Oh man, like dinner at six, well, that's later, right? Because I was gonna definitely eat the meat. Because I remember when I came to the US, mm-hmm. I was shocked that people ate that early. I was like, Why are you eating at six, six thirty, and you call that dinner? To me, that's yeah, that's uh, facts. <clears throat> that's a bit, that's a bit mad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, you I'd be hungry two hours later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, I remember, you used, we used to eat pounded yam like at around like 9 p.m. <laughs> Like you dropped and pounded mm. it. and you know that food is heavy. Oh heavy. my god. <laughs> yeah. I I miss food. I miss Nigerian food. That pounded <laughs> you made right now, eating that okra soup. Oh this are this this one knows what I'm talking about. Like like those are like I at this we had <sighs> my house used to piss me off, man. Cause this is every day unfailingly in the afternoon we ate eba and soup. Yeah. So because of that, I hated Eba so much. I was like, God, yeah, Eba, like, Eba, Eba, Eba cool. used to be Eba my least Eba favorite at uh, some Eba point. Eba is like, Eba is like a ver- version of fufu and pounded jam, but it's just m- mostly made of cassava. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? That thing is, I was just, I'm just tired of this rubbish. And then for dinner, you know, like I had the dinners that I like. The days when we were eating rice, you know, we were eating plantain, you know, we were eating, I don't know, maybe some nice, nice sauce or some nice spaghetti, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. You, you know, like spaghetti? 
I like spaghetti. I wasn't a fan of spaghetti. Yeah. When they bring beans, when they bring yam, when they bring. You know uh, what's it called? Ukwa. All this. Thi- I was just like, bro. <laughs> like, oh, Yo, oh, beans, beans and plantain. Oh, Ooh, that was my shit. Plantain, like, ripe. I started mm-hmm. like liking beans and plantain when I got older, but that was younger. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate rice, rice and beans. You know, I hate, I like oh, different, right. yeah. I like different types of beans. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like the beans, beans that was cooked with palm oil. You mm-hmm. feel me? That one. Yeah. Was co- the beans that was cooked in rice. I was like, hell no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this shit doesn't taste good, man. Because I didn't like rice and stew that much. Because of yeah, the way I, they, you know, I love rice and stew. Because like no, because of the way they made it, right? Because of the way they made the the rice is like they parboil the rice and those kind of shit. Like the way I make my rice is completely different now. Like me personally, the way I, I like my my rice a little bit tough. I don't like it super soft. Oh, like o- almost uh, almost like it's a bit raw. Yeah, almost it's or a like bit raw. Done. It's like yeah, I still like undone. a little bit of starch in it. You know what mm. I mean? That's the way I like it. I don't, I don't like. It being too soft, like I don't like it melting. That's yeah, what I actually, I actually feel you though. I actually feel you. like I like my rice almost. I don't know if it's healthy though. Like uh, it's sli- slightly undone. Yeah, it's slightly like undone. Really hard. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's one of the things why. And plus, the way I make my stew, my stew is just sex. You feel me? <laughs> you know, my stew is just sex. But like, but like, yeah. Previously, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of uh, this. Thing. But my favorite was. Yam, fried yam, and stew. Ooh, I never liked I yam. Even fried today. yam. Oh, you don't like you don't like fried yam? Jesus like yam Christ! Yeah. Have you tried fried yam, bole? Probably not. Damn, Damn. fried it's yam. It's like boiling. It's like it's like boiling plantain. Like boiled plantain to me is not that nice. Boiled plantain. But you, you haven't tried boiled. I've tried boiled plantain, but I don't like that shit. Yeah, that was saying like it's not it's not that natural. But when you fry the plantain, it's like okay, yeah. plantain becomes plantain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just what I was talking about. Like bold, <laughs> no, bold yam is so part of fried yam. plantain. Yeah. You know, plant, <laughs> plantain <laughs> is like I mean fried anything fried plantain or yam is S class. Bold plantain bold and like bold yam is like C class. You, yeah. like, <laughs> you can manage. Like, like I'll eat it now that I'm older. You know, like, yeah. I don't hate it as much, but like it's still not compared though to the to the to the S class version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the same D- thing. Do you know one so thing I also like to? What porridge? Did you used to eat porridge? Think, think, we used to eat porridge. I hated porridge when I was young. Really? Because to me, it was very similar to beans, but I started liking it the older I got. Especially mm-hmm. when they have like stock fish inside. Ah. Uh. And all these like delicacies. They have stock fish, for more, you know, mm-hmm. shaki, all that. When when the when the when the porridge is rich. Yes, when the protein. sauce is rich. Yeah, it's like I like it, but if you just the like, cause we had yam porridge and plantain porridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you just the raw porridge, you know, it very, doesn't hit the same. Yeah, very minimal. Once there's meat inside, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> there's no meat outside. Like, yeah, moi moi. Like Shout out to moi moi as well. Moi Honestly, I just let me food right now, man. <laughs> this is just foods that we are missing from home. <laughs> right. Oh my oh god. Man. But yo, did you guys ever do the morning prayers? Yes, every day. Uh, Every day, didn't we? Oh. No, no. Well, they didn't grow up Africa. <laughs> no, like, even, I'm trying. <laughs> no, to no, no. He grew up. Grew up in America. No, <laughs> even reflecting back <laughs> to when chill, I was chill, there, chill, we chill, didn't chill. really do it. We did it in school, but not at home. Mm. Not at home. Yeah. School? Yeah. You prayed in school? And it's crazy because my uncle was a pastor, so we definitely should have been doing it. Wow. But mm. we didn't. I, I had to give me your uncle's number. I just call him. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> what was he doing? Because every day for a season, whether you have school, whether it's summer, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Like four thirty-five. Oh, 4.35? You wake up. You wake up. I mean, because you, I mean, you have to pray and then get ready for school. Oh. School bus you guys didn't have morning city. chores? No. Mm, we didn't have morning really? chores during school. So during we school, during no. School, during school season, no. We did, we did Probably in the weekend. Yeah. Or oh, the weekends, yeah. yes. Nah, we, we had that shit every day. And it's crazy because it was the same shit every day. Like, how many times are you going to sweep a room that... <laughs> Like a room that's like not getting dirty. Single that like every <laughs> single day, I'm t- sweep, mop, sweep the compound. Mind you, there's nothing on the ground, oh, yeah. but we're just oh, sweeping yeah. for sweeping really? sake. That, 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 that thing, that thing, Jeez, actually, you know what? That thing is actually very good because right now I live in an apartment and I'm actually <laughs> sweeping every day. Like that, sh- it will help me sweeping every day. Where I don't sweep every day, I probably sweep like. I'm just saying, how how dirty is a room going to get in two hours? Like, it can, <laughs> it can't get dirty. Uh, can't get dirty. I mean, when there are kids in the house, to be fair, like kids be yeah, we've been doing some wild shit. But I still feel every day is a lot, though. That, that, that's a lot. I, I, me, I'll, I'll make it a rule every day that we clean. Every day, yeah. Then you'll be that annoying parents. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's all. I'll, li- I'll, li- I'll listen to your kids rant when they're ranting about. <laughs> <you>. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> you know when you, 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 you when you when you hear that oh, 
He said, come here. What do you mean by oh? Are you okay? Say, oh, guy, if you ever say fun. okay, if you ever say oh again, I'll flog you. Are you okay, my friend? You, what what are you doing? Here yeah, that you're living your life, you're living good. After saying oh, what have you done? Are you carrying like, brick on your head? Yo, that, that's what you did. That's why your dad carried. I carried this guy because of brickly. Oh, did, do, have you told that story? I don't think you have told that. Oh story, my man. gosh! I don't think it. Uh, <laughs> so one weird. Let me just say one weird thing that happened to me was that when my dad was doing con- the construction of his um, hotel, doing construction, my dad used to take us to the site. I used to do work at site, bro. Like he used to carry cement. He used so to carry it. Oh, the bags <laughs> of cement. Yeah, he used to carry bags of cement. He used to carry all this shit. The bricks. Uh, <laughs> we we did it like this was like very few times. Like when we had time. Oh, like when is, when yeah. our dad is just like, okay, these boys have nothing to do in the house. Mm-hmm. They're just out here chilling. Come here, let's go walk. <laughs> you feel me? Let's go do something. So he just take us to the to the uh, construction exactly. site. I'll go do that. I remember one time, me and my brother, it's just me and my brother. The girls are not there. Just clock yeah, it. The girls be chilling. I, man. You see what I'm trying to say? You see the injustice <laughs> in that household. The injustice that we had to go uh, through. <laughs> but. No, but they had their own thing. Their own thing, their own thing was look. cooking. But like, uh, true, but like, true. but like people, but like I, I cooked. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like I cooked for myself. Like they were not, they weren't cooking all the time. They cook very few times. But this shit that we used to do was like a whole summer. Me and my brother would say, that that would carry us in the car. He said, all right, let's go out. I will now be doing chores and stuff for him. I remember one time it was just me at some point. I was like, yeah, man. I just, I be at my dad. We just, you know, I just be acting upright. Because, <laughs> you know, this is, this is a business mode kind of vibe. You feel me? I'm not about to, out here trying to look on my phone, you know, on Instagram, doing those kind of, nah, nah, nah. Oh, nah. Or serious nah, mode. Nah. Serious mode. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> like I remember one time that we were in a hotel, right, and it rained, mm-hmm. and we have like this underground gym, but it was still in construction. But water had like filled it up and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So you had to pack the water. My dad, me and my younger brother, we had like rain, you know, rain boots, rain, rain boots, boots yes. and we mm-hmm. had buckets. And just imagine this thing reaching up to your knees. Damn! I had to empty that room. We had to empty the room. This thing took <laughs> hours. Hey, hours, bro. <laughs> Um, uh, I was guy, <laughs> was a rich God. boy, but so the guy walked. It worked. <laughs> God, I was just like, oh my God. And it was kind of like, and we did it multiple times. We did it like three times. Like, if you filled up three times, and we did it three times. <laughs> because it was ready season. It was ready season. Yeah. Uh, it was ready season. Really like, oh, okay. Uh, okay. They, they yes. Back to the room today. Let me, yes. let me give them a. Let me give them and a my dad was like, oh, my dad was like, you guys, good. You know, he, I mean, you guys have to use that rain boot for a reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> we bought mm-hmm. it for a reason. <laughs> Honestly, that that the uh, that thing was a vibe because like that, it made me like not fearful like not being because of when I was young I felt that I you was don't like want to be too sheltered yeah yeah, yeah. I felt yeah. I was prepped up because I was scared yeah. to like go out like go into the market I was like oh, what am I doing in this place like this place is weird you know you know yeah, you know you're yeah, young yeah. and you're just like, this place is weird this is after a yeah, while like, I was just like, go on, like public yeah you can't go on the public transportation and stuff like that because you you're just sheltered you're you know, just sheltered all these guys are like if local low key low key, if, you, low like, key even that public transportation like public transportation is not my thing at all I'm not gonna lie to you nah, but, uh, that's a, you know like the, the guy still has to show some sprinkle of mm. ripple <laughs> sprinkle of ripple <laughs> <laughs> that thing yeah, public transportation be on downfall best friends if you go on downfall you don't get a pep don't show that tricycle yeah Best friend. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah. When nah, I was trying nah. to get my visa, I to get my visa mm-hmm. every day because I, you have to. Go, I, when I was studying for SAT, I had to go to mm-hmm. SAT class. I had to go, you know, like you go for my visa prep to practice for my interview. Yeah, like yeah. That. Every day. I mean, because my parents are not going to take me. I mean, mm. they even if they wanted to, they were too busy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? So <laughs> I better help myself. Get tight, Okada. <laughs> Even though they, even though I look, stop riding on car as much. If you don't know what car is, like the it's motorcycle, oh, yeah, motorcycle, yeah, it's a motorcycle. That could be for like public transportation, right? Those ones became because those car riders are very they're yeah, crazy. They, they, they move much. They're crazy. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. that was one. Of the, that was one of the reasons. I mean, <laughs> low key. I I remember one day like this. Like my dad told me to do something, right? I we went in the hotel, mm-hmm. right? And my dad was like, Chibuzo. Like do this, do this, do this, and like I didn't do it right. But like any day, my dad was like, okay. Your punishment, you have to like my dad was like, okay, go back home and get. I I think I forgot something at home, and he told me to bring it, and I didn't bring it. Mm. I was like, okay, go get it. It's like here is you know two hundred naira. Go back mm. home and get. It. You're not using the car. 
And in my head, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was <Yeah>. shook. <laughs> you don't even understand. I was yeah. flabbergasted. I was, ah. bro, I was, I was. I was just, I was, I was aghast. If you guys know that, that's a big word right there. If you guys know that, if you guys know, man, if you guys know, if you guys know. But I was just <laughs> like, nah, man, this is, this is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Anthony public boss. And you know me, I'm very like, I'm, I, I'm very prepped up. You can, you can yeah. clearly see that <laughs> your boy is not. <laughs> you be so confused. You go in the, the conductor. I wish you can break this down for them. You know, like. If you don't know, like when you enter a public transportation, there's a conductor, there's a driver. Yeah. The conductor collects the money mm-hmm. and and he announces like where he's going. He announces the areas where, where he's going. Exactly. So it's like Osho D or Balin D yeah. everywhere. He will tell you where he's going and then you have to listen and know exactly where you're going. Where you're yeah. going the bus stop mm. you're going to stop. Yeah. You pay him the money, that's what the torture there is. And you sit on this metal ass or sometimes it has a little oh, bit man, of that so. chair is high. Yeah, you have ah, like a metal ass has chair. Push your other people yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone is hustling. Bro, and you, and you now see me. Just imagine me, like with my <laughs> low cut, wear that my polo shirt, my <laughs> jeans and my sh- and my polo shoe. And I enter this 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 devil bus. <laughs> this devil bus and people are just looking at me. Just you know I mean I'm just quiet as hell. <laughs> But the thing is that what I did is uh, by the by dad's driver is like he's kind of like a family friend now because he's been with us for so long. Like yeah, like his, yeah, he's basically a family friend. So he helped me with my dad uh, told him not to help me, but he helped mm. me and he took me to like this a common place, right? Where it was yeah. like they just go straight to you know to, house. to my house, like to my the area of my house. To your bus stop. Yeah, to, I literally from the area of the house where they stopped. I literally walked to my house. It was like 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 an hour like walk. I was like, I'm not taking any this thing else. I'm just gonna yeah, walk to my house. <laughs> Yo, did you go back to the to the hotel? I didn't go back. <laughs> 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 I was like, I'm not riding this shit again. <laughs> I'm not riding this shit again. <laughs> Oh, I was like, I'm, I'm, old, bro. I'm like, I'm prepared for anything that comes out of this shit. Like, just flog don't me flog me right now. I don't. I'm not coming back, bro. What do you mean? What do you mean, bro? Are you, are you crazy? Like, we enter this shit again? Hell nah. Oh, yeah, but that, that was, but that was like one of the things that I didn't like to do. Like, that's yeah. like a, more like in terms of entering market, entering like bush areas or stuff like that. I can do that one. I honestly didn't like the market. As well, I didn't though, either. Cause, cause the, uh, oh, the market was it. I avoided it at I, all costs. <laughs> you see, th- and that's the thing about girls. My dad never, like, it was the boys' market, this boys. Like really? yes, market is boys. Yeah. Yes, that's actually different. My mm-hmm. my 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 ba- ba- market is like very right. few. All the women. I mean, my mom made us go as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but it was mostly like my sister. Mm-hmm. Actually, not in life. What the hell? She was too young. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's when she got a bit older that she started going. Yeah, but yeah. Like, for the most part, it was be at all the chuku. Yeah, she but I would go to the market with her. Yeah, I hated that thing so much. Like, it's like this is like during like after church, right? And like you, you want to buy stuff for the the house. My dad will literally, you know, drive up, park the car in, in the side of the road and stuff like that. And we have to like cross mm. the, the the two roads to mm. enter the market. To the other side. The other side. Of the market, yeah. And like my mom is there. You know, my mom is all dressed up and stuff like that. There's no, there's no way in hell she's entering that market, right? <laughs> my, mom not, my mom is not still ready for that. So it's all right, chica, chibuzo, let's go down, let's go buy stuff. And my dad would just say, come here, come here, come here, come here, let's cross. And that's how you, you know, that's one of the little things you learn how to cross road. Yeah, you, you, you learn how to cross road. Look right, to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you learn how to cross road. So, I'll, you know, we enter the market, you just see the stench of chicken shit. Oh my god. Not even chicken shit, like goat shit. Like raw meat. Everything. Meat? Raw meat. No, everything. Raw meat. It's Bro, like it's, re- it's, it's literally a flea market. You feel me? <laughs> And you just be smiling. and you know when you're when you've been sheltered all your life and you just enter this thing for the first time, you just like, <laughs> oh my god! And your dad oh, is just acting normal. Here. I mean, yeah, this, is, this is your dad's brother. Yeah, exactly. So this is the bread and butter, and you s- and you see him uh, negotiate for price, negotiating the price, yeah. negotiating, <laughs> and that's the worst thing. I was that so scared. <laughs> I think he's a piss me off. Oh my god! My mom will be negotiating literally fifteen naira. Yes, my dad too. She will be negotiating, and then she will not be. 
that's where she channels her inner Nollywood. Because mm-hmm. you know, just like, so let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> like, you know, when they're trying to pretend like they're walking away from the negotiation. Because, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like, the person is not trying to sell back at you. Like, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's yeah. go. You know, you know, I'll be walking you know, away, I'll be looking back. Yeah, you know, that thing is, <laughs> that thing is actually, uh, actually a huge skill because of. What, oh, yeah, what, my, what my dad does, right? He talk to one person. And you know, they're usually around the same areas. Like people that yeah, sell the same yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, how, much, how much are you selling? So, blah, 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 blah. So, okay. All right, that's too high. Now go to the next person. So I say, okay, how much do you want to sell? I'm like, I'm looking to get out of here. Like, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I have the money right here. Look at it. I'll, I'll buy it right now. But it's, I, I can only do this price. You feel me? He's basically pressuring the person. Putting the pressure mm-hmm. back on the person. Back on the person, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I give the other person, I say, let's go. Go to the next one, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, uh, do you want to make business? Do you want to do, do you want to do this? It usually happens with the meat kind of guys, mm-hmm. like the people that sell meat with the you know tomatoes and like all those kind of fruit stuff. It usually doesn't happen that much because of those ones I know mean, their those price. Those are pretty. Those are pretty standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Like, and they are, they also like the price is generally known. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For those ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but like with but meat, the, the meat, like my is also a bit expensive. Yeah, yeah, too, so yeah. So my surprise that one. bro, my dad prices the shit out of that stuff, man. I mean, you know how when you're, when you've got to the next level of th- of that training, why don't you say, alright, cheap so? You go and buy it. You go and buy it. I want you. Uh, they'll give me a list: plantain, <laughs> yam, beans, this, that, that. See, alright, cheap so go buy it. I'm just like, am I going to be the only person to go get this thing? I right. know <laughs> <laughs> he give you a certain amount. <laughs> and you know yeah. when he, you know when he, you don't complete the price like this, you don't go back to the guy. Like, Daddy, I need an extra. You tell me like, what happened? <laughs> say, oh, like the person said this. this. Say, my friend, go, go and pay for this stuff, my friend. <laughs> you have looking at the person. It's like, say, oh my dad. <laughs> you know, you say, when well, you're very inexperienced, you say your dad said, and that's the worst right. thing to say. That's never, mm-hmm. never oh. say this thing. You have to say that it's yourself yeah. that negotiated, right? Because the person yeah. will just abuse you. Say your dad. Because yeah. the person is like, that's an authority. Say, nah, 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 nah. You know, like, okay. It's like, you know, there's nothing you can do. You have to go back there. That dad will not yeah. forcibly have to give you 150. When you say that next time. But when you enter the car again, say next time. Negotiate it down. What's wrong with you? You can't negotiate. You can't negotiate. You can't negotiate. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, that, I yeah. you know. I hate, I hate, I hate the baguette. Yeah, because he also took so much time, and I'm just like, I'm tired, man. Like when <laughs> we used to go to, mm-hmm. we used to go to Balogu Market to buy clothing. As well. you know, oh, like they Balogu they Market. Go to shop right. You know, they go yeah. to shop right. They go to all these stores. You mm-hmm. know, pay their clothes. That one is the price is standard. But if you're going to Balo, Balogu Market is a popular okay. market in Lagos. Yeah, so you go there. You're trying to buy soccer boots. You're trying. Oh, to you used buy to buy soccer boots in Balogu uh, Market. Ah, yeah, wow. I, mean, I bought the original one for a while, mm-hmm. but then they stole that one. <laughs> <I was laughs> <my friend. laughs> they stole it in school. My parents are not going to buy it. You're stealing, stealing, stealing soccer was boots <laughs> was so fucking that thing common. Hot by so oh my oh gosh, man! God, so obviously my next clips are going to be fake ones from Balogu. Yeah. <laughs> so <I go> there, <laughs> you go there, uh, you negotiate your thing. You, you see the boots, you do your thing, but that yeah. takes so much time because you have to go around. I think you talk to this one. They say no. Mm-hmm. Talk to this one. They say no. They will call you back. Okay. And my mom is very patient. She's like, I'm ready for you people today. I have only ten thousand, and I'll buy everything on my list. I'm, I, I mean, honestly, it's pretty impressive because she she normally does. Mm-hmm. But bro, that thing is a skill, and it takes a lot of patience. My dad, my dad is normally impatient with that. You know, he's just more like. Now, even though the older he gets now, the more he's beginning to negotiate a lot more. I think because since Buhari entered, <laughs> entered that seat, you know, like, <laughs> money has become a bit tight. Mm. You know, so my guy is like, okay, you know, I've negotiated. But normally my dad is like, nah, man, I don't like doing all these things. So he just says my mom, <laughs> like, you gotta handle this. Oh, man. But, huh, I don't know if you guys have any other weird things that you guys did growing up. Uh, we couldn't do sleepovers. Yeah, we no sleepovers. <laughs> no sleepovers. No sleepovers. No sleepovers. I never did. I, mean, I never. I, I could do sleepovers for very specific people. Very specific. The it had to like. Specific yeah. People. It had to be my cousin. Family, like it had to be my cousin close, or something. But even like. then, it was still. Yeah. Yeah, like if, yeah, even did even at like remember when you used to drive like late at night back home from your cousin's house. Do you guys remember that? Mm-hmm. Like I used to do that like a lot. Like we just drive back late and it'd be like it'd be like two a.m. Right, and we're just getting back home. But I'm like, oh why we just why, why don't we just sleep? Oh, just sleep over. But right. nah, our parents are like, <laughs> it you. makes sense. You're going back. We're, we're going, going back home. Mm-hmm. Wait, did, wait, did, they, did they let you guys eat at uh, other people's houses? No. Nope. 
No, 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 no. no. Mm-hmm. Except if my parents knew the person that was serving the food, mm-hmm. like knew the mm-hmm. knew the person that was org- organizing the party. My parents always said, "Don't Only eat then. it." When yeah. when we get back home, you'll see about it. Like, anyway Even now, go, I'm still like very eat. careful about that. Honestly, I, I need to think about it a bit, little bit more, but I really don't. Yeah, think now now like that I'm in America, I don't really think about it. If there's food I eat. Yeah, like <laughs> now, like in America, like I really don't think about it in America because I feel like yeah. America is a whole different kind of situation. You feel me? Like I don't think food is necessarily I mean, processed. But the way I think about it, though, even in Nigeria, right? But even in Nigeria, right, there are just some, what's it called? There are some places like Mama Put, all these mm-hmm. local places. Mm-hmm. How good they are, buy their food that eat. Yeah, oh my gosh. Mama you know Put say? is and the it shit. It's so good. So, But it is, I don't know how they made that thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they wash that thing very well. I don't know. Even the environment that you're buying the food from, you're just like... It's sketchy it's itself. Sketchy. Questionable. But it tastes good. It is what it's <laughs> now. It's so, so is that like, is it now, is it now a supposed friend's place that I'm going to that would now eat? <laughs> it's like I've eaten this one, but I mean, I get what they're saying. I mean, I guess they used to be. Yeah, but I think I, I think Melanie commented on uh, one of our older videos about mm. like some. There used to be like uh, poisoning or something. Yeah, like history poison. of poisoning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, po- poison is very common in in Nigeria. You know, I mean, yeah. like, and I think, I, th- I think the reason is just to protect your kids. <laughs> Basically, it's like yeah, I mean, you don't trust. You know, you I mean, that. literally, Ni- Nigeria is filled like with people doing witchcraft, four one nine, yeah, like crazy people. Like, like people, like people, will, like literally pee in your food. People spit mm-hmm. in your food. Like, like sometimes, like <laughs> if you're ordering in mm-hmm. Tanzania, or, like all this, like um, chicken republic and so, so like some people will just be doing some mad stuff with your food. Like it's it's very common. So you have to. So that's why I me, mean, I'm always polite. I'm like, oh, good day. How you doing? You know, I'm I'm the polite Please one. Yeah. I'm yeah, the polite one. Yeah. Food. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Don't mess with my food, man. I want to. I don't want to see some weird ass shit in my fucking oh, food, man. bro. Did you guys have a was it called, like story time? Oh you know, was, yeah. So when you sit down, like yes, I used, I used to love that every time I was, like, yes. I'll, like my dad knew like every time my dad came back because he wasn't home all the time. Mm-hmm. But anytime maybe because he used to work in Lagos, we were living in Portugal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, he would, or we were living in Portugal, he was working in Boni or somewhere. You know, mm-hmm. so he was always he would go maybe come back on the weekends, then go again on Monday, or then when he moves to Lagos, he would go come back once a month and then go back. But every time he comes, I just like, Daddy, 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 <laughs> tell a story, tell a story. That's always good. And those are story. the best, man. Story. Those are the best. And, like, and when he tells you story, oh, more, man. You're deep. Like, you're you're deep. You lived inside that story. You're, you're, you're in a trance. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay. So for my dad and my uncle, my mom, my mom is more recent than I'm beginning to appreciate her storytelling skills a bit more. Yeah. Because my mom's memory is pretty sharp. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, back then, I, it was just mostly my dad that was telling all these mm. stories. And I, and I think my dad is also more animated when he tells his story. Yeah. Like, definitely a better storyteller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I think now that I'm older, I can have, like, normal conversation. I still enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. she's yeah. telling her stories. But, yo, back then, we would be telling you stories about it. All, all these... All these stereotypical stories, thoughts are the hair, but then sometimes you'll yeah. do some like spirit, some spiritual stories, oh you know, some gosh. stories in secondary school, some other things. Yo, like, you yo. know, all, like you know, all those ones when they tell you about like witchcraft. We, I hope those witchcraft stories. Oh man, scary. They tell you about like, like, like masquerade stories mm-hmm. from back in the day. They'll say that bat, like literally, like she, like they said that like this woman like turned into bat. <laughs> like when my mom is telling me all these stories, I'm like, I, there's no way in hell I can believe you. <laughs> but like it says that, like I'm like, I'm my mom, I know my mom. My mom is not a liar. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's not gonna lie about all these serious things. I'm just like, yeah. Like if my mom is saying this, oh my god. Oh my I god. hope I never experience this kind of thing in my life. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> it's always, so like yeah, those stories, those stories are cool, man. Yeah, I mean all these I mean, proverbs. Are, I mean, there's a reason why we have proverbs on that fucking yeah. you know yeah, episode. Sure. It's because yeah, sure. we grew up with. You know, our parents telling us, our, telling us stories on proverbs. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, exactly. you, you know when your dad hits you with a proverb, you're like, da, 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 oh, da, yeah. da, da, you know, like, ah, ah, deep. <laughs> That's some deep and shit. Then they, right and then they explain this. Did I like, explain yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Those are, those are the four ones. But, <laughs> but I think one stereotypical one, though, is no date until you get married. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. That was of course. a stereotypical one. <laughs> Because yeah. no, men- no mention of girl, no mention no mention of, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend. Like, they, like they fully become real. Like, don't ever, like they all of a sudden, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? <laughs> <laughs> when are my grandchildren yeah, what the, what coming? Are grand- <laughs> 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 I mean, thank God my parents are kind of chill on that. You know, they are not too... Yeah. Even though my mom is, my mom is trying to, you know, just 
try to not just not just a little bit more. I, I don't think she's re- really worried about me per se, because in my head I've always been wanting to, mm-hmm. like I've always been aspiring to that. You know, I've never mm-hmm. been like, oh, I'm not, I'm not trying to do all that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like, yo, <laughs> but she's still like, okay, just so, you know, start thinking about it. You know, okay. like start. That's like, that's, that's <laughs> crazy. I, I I told my parents that, mom, don't don't be expecting me to get married like, I'm in ten to years. <laughs> like I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to get myself, you know, financially strong and stable yeah. and you know, yeah. free. Like, don't be expecting exactly. me to look for babes. Like, you might hear, like, oh, here's my girlfriend or stuff like that, but you don't know if it's your... I would even tell my parents I even have a girlfriend. Like, if I had... Ah, actually, if I have a girlfriend now, tell my parents I have a girlfriend. I think I can if do I that. A, if I have a girlfriend now, I mean, it will be serious. If I it will be now. serious. That's my I mean, whole it's point. Just, it will it's just be serious. Like, if, yeah, that was it. So, if I... I think I mean I'll be very careful though because I feel like if I'm going to involve my parents, yeah, then I'm already thinking like wifey level Future. type. Thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm like trying to say is that I'll, I'll, like if they ask me, I won't be afraid to tell them. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be yeah, like now I won't be scared. Yeah, like previously, like, like my mom would be so, my mom would be trying to get my business. Though. Oh, of course. <laughs> like who is this girl? What what's like what's her like Instagram? What's her Facebook? You know, what's what her family Facebook? is she from? Where is she from? They hey. ask about the family. Hey. They need the family. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's about the family it's like I, I, it's you know you see, I hope she's Christian <laughs> I, I, oh. I, 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 it, that's probably one of the first qu- first questions <laughs> right there first questions that's right there <laughs> like, uh, like oh man it would be very interesting <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but my parents know that I, I don't know my parents know the kind of person I am I don't I do my own thing basically that's mm-hmm. honestly the truth I've always been the person to do my own uh, do my own thing because I I've been the not the re- rebellious type but I've been the most hot headed one. <laughs> mm. So they just understand that like, this boy is like he will listen. It's different. Like like you argue 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 but he will listen. Like I'm that he'll kind of person. Eventually. Like not he's listening eventually. He's listening but he just wants to open his but mouth. He wants to, yeah. <laughs> I mean it's kind of like it's kind of like even even be, even between me and you. Yeah. Right now, sometimes it's like just like this thing is supposed to argue. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but, this, uh, but remember when I said that time, like when we were arguing about something, just like, Peter, you know how we always start by arguing at the end of the day, you still listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just, and let's just skip to the part where you listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because I need to fully, you know, flesh my idea and like yeah. talk about it to make it like, make if sense. it makes sense. Because like sometimes yeah. I'll talk about it and I'm like, actually, I'm right. Like, I'm actually right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because of like, I mean, I think I'm right when I say it. But sometimes when you talk yourself out of it, you can talk yourself out of it basically. Right? You understand? Yeah. So I, I do that all the time to make sure my it's like a it's like a you know, verifying process, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Why they are sure. Are you gonna let your kids lock the door? No. Oh yeah, that was that was one thing. You're not you're not locking the door. You're not locking open. You can't <laughs> you cannot lock in the door for what? We don't close doors. There's also house. there's no personal space. Let me just say that right now. Well, we don't close doors. There's no like personal it. space. There is no you're personal space. Your, your siblings, that one is already out the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The way they, maybe if you had only child, there, sure. Yeah. You get your your time because your parents still want to go to their room and chill. Yeah, yeah that's no but personal space. If, huh? you have, if you grow up with siblings, just forget about the cousin. Like my sister, I feel very sorry for her. This girl was begging for her room, pretty much from like the point she became a teenager all the way till I remember. Mm-hmm. She was just begging. <laughs> I need my own room. I need my. Own. She never got that thing. <laughs> 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 she only got it finally when she was out sharing room with my other sister, you know. But that was it. But yeah. for the most part, it was just like yo, like we we're just all up in her business. And then she was out, you know when they start going through this like period, Different. start changing. Oh my gosh! I and they don't want us to be involved at all. Like she doesn't want to <laughs> mention it to <near> me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's lucky. That's lucky. Something that you know, my sisters, because of th- that's woman. That's woman time. I never knew, mm-hmm. like I never knew about. I mean, I knew about it, but like I never knew when they were experiencing themselves. When they were going through it. When they were going through it, yeah. like it's like me. I don't know. Me, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 per- like the girls were actually very good at hiding that kind of very shit. <laughs> very good at hiding that kind. Of, us men, like you see our pants on the floor. <laughs> if you saw them, we. Sh- you know, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 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 this one knows exactly what I mean. It's like, yo, whose part is this? You be like, Chica, <laughs> go get your pants. <laughs> Look at this. Go, go put your pants in the dirty clothes, my friend. Look at this shit. <laughs> you know? Man, I wish I had brothers. Yo, uh, yeah, yeah, honestly. 
honestly, wild. You would have been, you would have had more headache growing up. Yeah, you'd have had more <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly. you have had more for it because I, I remember the time. One time I found my sister's panty liners, but I didn't know what they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what is this? So I was like, is this, is this tissue? Or what, what, what is this? She just, she not, like, I went to her, I was like, oh, what is this? She now saw it, like, you see the shock in her face, she snatched it <laughs> and ran away. I was just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah what's happening here? Yeah, and okay. I asked her, she said no, that she's not telling me till this day. <laughs> to this day, she never. I think it was probably it was like last month. I finally found out what it was used for. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like probably last month, but obviously now I'm more comfortable talking about. Like, yeah, I think I've always been comfortable, but maybe she thought I was going to be childish about yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, because like, it, it was very delicate. I, I would have definitely been childish. I mean, the thing <laughs> is that like, she was only she was only girl. Like yeah. I like my sisters were multiple, so they could talk to each other, right? Yeah, uh, you yeah, could like yeah, share yeah, their experiences, true. but like, if it was me, ah man, I'd have made fun of that shit for sure, for sure, for sure. There'll be one oh, more, there'll be more more bullet in my arsenal. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh man, the thing is, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sensitive guy. You know, like I'm sensitive to pe- people's feelings most of the time. Mm-hmm. Now sometimes I know they're going to feel a certain kind of way, and mm-hmm. I should do it anyways. It is what it is. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> literally <laughs> my mentality right there. I know how it's going to make you feel, but I'm like, fuck it. You know, you fuck it. But there are just some lines that all cross, you know, like, but as well what I do is something that is very sensitive. To yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it's not that sensitive to you, then I'll, I can pull on that a little bit. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, guy, guy, yeah, you, can, you cannot play football. You're yeah, trash. You know mm-hmm. that kind of thing? Like, but if it's like something very delicate and uh, clearly means a lot to you, then I'll be like, okay, let me let me chill on that, you know. I knew my limits. Peter, you had no limits. <laughs> but believe you had yeah. the bro- honestly I feel like you would be a different person if you had the brother yeah you'd have been, you'd have been much more uh, like if like you, if you, you if you look at like girls with brothers you get, like they are much more like vocal if if, yeah. if, mm-hmm. if that makes sense because <laughs> you know, your brother like, would you disturb to. you <laughs> like just imagine a constant pe- like nuisance in your life but like, that's your brother like you have to speak up for yourself because uh, you'll be eating alive basically if you don't speak up yeah. for yourself <laughs> you'll be eating alive I like I um, like Especially if the age is close, mm-hmm. like the age yeah. is close, because you know, like sometimes the, the brother might be too old, mm-hmm. so obviously they will just shoot you like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or the brother might be too young, too young. that they will just be like, they will be doing that childish shit. Just yeah, like, yeah. like do your thing. But if the age is even so well close, where you guys actually have to argue about things and you're trying mm-hmm. to tell them to do something that it's they're not over. listening, and you cannot physically overpower them, like you might be able to overpower them, but it's not very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> like when, like when that transfer of power changes, but, uh, oh. it's, it's the worst thing. Because oh. I remember when I when I was just like, because some boys were abused that day. Cause I remember when yeah. I just like when I clearly knew that. I'm the strongest in the house. Like I wasn't the strongest. Like my dad obviously was the strongest. But among the siblings, I'm plus my mom at some point. I was like, bro, I'm the strongest. You feel me? Like clearly, most athletic, fastest. You know everything. I got that shit in the back. And it was now Peter. Bro, now you. You can abuse. you can have imagined like that's what like, abuse. like just imagine trying to chase me around the house, and I'm the fastest. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shifty. You feel me? I'm shifty. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm like, you know, you're not going to get that stuff away from me until I give it to you. Mm. Like, that's how it was. Like, you're not going to get it from me because I'm, I can literally dust you. <laughs> like, like, you know, I, so oh. like, it was just like, everything was just like, that was, that was kind of like the cards I played. You know what I mean? Yeah. There are cards yeah. where you say, oh, mommy and daddy. Or you yeah, know, yeah. or like you know, insult me or not give you a shit. You know, I those kind those are the cards that they have. But me, my cards were like, okay, like you know, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm going to use my strength, my power, everything. My power. You know, my mouth too. I'm going oh, to use my right. mouth. <laughs> Yo, uh, like even growing up with an older brother that is so close in age, mm-hmm. that is now the first child. Man, that dynamic was very interesting. Cause yeah. me, I, in a sense, I kind of felt like I was also the older sibling. You know, I never mm-hmm. like not older than him, mm-hmm. but like I was like on the same level yeah mm-hmm. do you get what i mean same, like, same. Guy, you're just one year older than me yeah, 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 yeah like you can't be talking to me like you're talking to all these other guys. yeah <laughs> I, I know i know exactly <laughs> what you're supposed to say right now <laughs> don't, don't, don't even try that with me. so that that argument that yeah back and forth, just constant yeah our whole lives yeah our whole lives because <laughs> <laughs> he tries to be like <sighs> try to dominate himself <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you can't dominate me, fam. <laughs> you can't overpower. You can't overpower me, fam. <laughs> Yo, it's just like <laughs> Yo, fight, honestly, man. honestly, yeah, thank God. Was honestly, thank God, my my younger brother wasn't like me because we would have fought a lot of times. My, my my younger brother is a lot more calm. You know, mm. does does his own thing, a lot more chill. If I had someone like me, oh my gosh, Jesus! And we're now competitive too. Oh, you know what I mean? We're um, competitive. The rocks in the house Jesus. that we bad. It's like when we when we hold each other, we hold each other. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Like, oh man. And like I we remember. both show chest. You know what I mean? We and both show chest. The thing is that we, you f- we fight at the dumbest times too. Yes. The dumbest times. Yes. It's just like why on earth? Like <laughs> we literally went to the UK. Went to my auntie's house for the first time. I you know in Nigeria, most of the houses are are concrete houses. They are concrete buildings. Yeah. yeah. So you can run upstairs, run downstairs. Yeah. Do everything. Yeah. You don't really make noise like that. Mm-hmm. But then once you leave the country, you come to the US. You come here, you start seeing more wooden houses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you are running, like everything is just very noisy. Yeah. First night we got to my auntie's house, wooden house. It was a nice house, big but wooden. So there was be very quiet. You know, don't be running around. Da da da. Yeah. First night we had to fight. <laughs> and it's like it's so like real rocks <laughs> we're rolling on the floor <laughs> you're not really fighting you're holding each other yeah uh, damn, like trying to see who can like like just like pin down the person basically exactly you're trying to do all that while we're rolling on the floor <laughs> i can run in your chima yeah my, my mom and dad so they're running upstairs <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like the house, it felt like the house wanted to crumble yeah yeah, yeah. Was like, that's the amount of noise that's being made oh my and god like, and then what was the thing about fighting about probably remote control yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well sometimes 2 a.m when you're sharing bed with someone and you're just arguing about where the other person should sleep yeah. so that we can get it's like you draw the line exactly. draw the line <laughs> like, yo don't cross this line bro no. if i get your feelings i'm slapping the shit out of you bro <laughs> oh i guess we are out honestly i was an asshole you are an asshole i was an asshole man i was such an asshole oh my god because of like oh, i always use, i always used my physical strength as like uh mm. as my trump card basically not mm. to my sisters because I, I knew I my sisters like that, that might be that might be a thing with fair siblings man or like first sons. I think it's I think it's first sons. It's just it's just first an it's, it's, same, man. it's just an ego trip of power. Like when you have yeah, the power yeah, now, like I I have the power. <laughs> you know, you're just like okay, like this is my trump card. Like don't fuck with me, yeah. right? Like anything I says goes. Mm-hmm. And like mm-hmm. I couldn't do that to my older sister because she was the older one. And like you know that respect mm-hmm. dynamic. You know, like you you can't cross yeah. the line like that. But like in terms of like you can stand your ground. Like, I st- I stood my ground multiple times with that girl. Like. Honestly, I was a stubborn one. You know, that's the funny thing. That's the funny thing, right? Because this was the exact same that I was about. Like, Peter, I'm sure you, you wanted your younger siblings to listen to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you, you will listen to your older sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hypocrisy for me. Yeah. <laughs> she was the same way. Oh, uh, fuck. He will be bashing out, you know, his things, do this, do that, listen to me. When, but we had a maid in the house mm-hmm. that was older. Maybe, like, we have, like, older cousins and all that that will come. Mm-hmm. Chiba doesn't listen for shit. Oh, like, my God. I'll argue with you. Yo. Like, why? Yo, who are the, you? The like, d- is this your house? The, the, <laughs> you who are you? Yo, honestly, I say I was, I, was, I was so stupid. Now that I think of, like, immature, stupid. Did Like, that house helps stuff of, like, you know, talking back. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I did that shit a lot. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. I know cheese on me. I have mouth. Like I'll just, mm-hmm. I can just, I'll, just I'll say the maddest stuff. <laughs> you feel me? So like, oh, honestly, man. man, I was, I was, I was just immature, man. I'm stupid, thinking that like you know, respect is like that. I have power, you know. Like no one mm-hmm. can talk to me anyhow. Like I'm puff chest. But sometimes some of those, some of those people will just no, be trying. They they'll, they'll, they'll be trying to, and you know, so, and you know me. Sometimes they'll be trying to finesse some shit. Ah, uh, yeah. That's actually true. Yeah. Let me let me just say this. Like sometimes I'm like that, but sometimes it's like okay, like this it's person actually is actually in the wrong, and you know yeah. me when you're in the wrong. Ah, there's no way. Like I will hold you. You yeah. feel me? I mean, I, I will hold I you. Like, mm-hmm. I remember one time. One time the the maid was cooking, cooking rice. Like she made rice and then she made meat and chicken and all that. And then Chima now noticed that she kept some meat for herself. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's all like me. I'll just, I'll be chilling, you know. I'll just, just be like, I mean, yeah. that's kind of sketchy. But it's what I went to. I was like, I held out. Not held out. I was like, I better bring out that bit too. Because <laughs> it's, it's not for you. <laughs> it's, for, it's for the house. <laughs> Chiba, ha, he called her out there. Yeah. Ha, 
guy. <laughs> and so, so that was it. Like, so that, like, when you look at it from a Nigerian point of view and all that, obviously it's disrespectful. You're talking yeah. to others anyhow. Yeah. You do yeah. But sometimes those people needed it. The, like, the truth is, we, you know, when you get that kind of power or like that kind of mm-hmm. um, and responsibility, or yeah. you know, you you ha- you have to learn how to manage it. Because like when you yeah. just right. Because, you know, there are certain times you just, you just keep quiet, you know. Like, when you're old enough, yeah. that's why a lot of people, when they yeah. get older, they're a lot calmer. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're a lot more patient. But, like, when you're young, like, any little thing, you're ready to go. It's like, <laughs> this is the law. You know what I mean? Like, this is the law. This yeah. is where it's supposed to be. And, like, sometimes you're wrong, but you don't want to admit you're wrong. It all this kind of mm-hmm. nonsense things. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. you think that you're special. You know, I <laughs> at some point, I was like, because of all these stupid cartoons I used to watch, I was like, bro, I'm about to get superpowers, man. No doubt, <laughs> no doubt, bro. I'm about to get some superpowers. Oh, did, he, did you ever think like that? So, I mean, yes, definitely. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I was like, bro, like, man, you know, like you are special. <laughs> at some point, you are going to get engulfed in some superhuman shit. Yeah, weird. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but like, this is boys. This is child, boys, man. Your faith as a child is mad. I remember yeah. when sometimes helicopters mm. be flying over our house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the we actually will literally be shouting at the top of our lungs. Helicopter, come down, <laughs> let me enter. <laughs> we'll be shouting Yo. Deep, deep in our hearts, we believe that they will hear us and actually and stop our lives. <laughs> but it never happened, but we never stopped <laughs> until we finally go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's yeah, a weird belief. That's an interesting that story, that man. Children have like my my sister used to believe that she had a flying blanket. Oh my god! Blankets, or they, they, you know when we watch Aladdin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. had the fly carpet. <laughs> my sister, she had her fly blanket. I watch it. Yeah, she believed this that she flew. Mm-hmm. So she would jump from the top of the closet. Oh no! The dress up <laughs> to the bean bag, <laughs> you know, at her hand she has flown. <laughs> 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 oh my god i'm just like bro. yeah yeah honestly I, you know, it's just it's just very interesting like see like children dynamic honestly i feel like we can break down that in one episode just like all these weird like children's dynamics yeah also maybe like even the dynamic between the first siblings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just understand that mind frame you know because in my head me and chima we grow up pretty similar mm-hmm Right, but the, I mean, because we're very close in age, so mm-hmm. everything we did, you know, we used to dress the same. Yeah, we do that. Yeah. He goes to school, I go to school. He's doing Nigerian, I'm doing Nigerian. It's like all these things, like yeah. just right there. Ba, 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 yeah. Ba. yeah, you know. So I didn't feel like there was much of a difference, but I also knew that because of the way our characters were, we mm-hmm. were definitely treated differently different mm-hmm. ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I think it would be interesting to break that down. Yeah, it's it's, you know, so it's also an interesting. And you know, when your parents say, "Oh, we treat everyone equally," not lie equally. Yes. Lie. that's False. not true that's, i mean they try my they, parents really try they try to treat too. everyone like, equally but the truth is that some people get special treatment yeah you know what i mean like not everyone is not everyone is like like people need some people need special treatment you know what i mean like mm-hmm. the boys need their special treatment chibuzo need their special treatment because <laughs> i was you know me now stubborn boy <laughs> like angry always i oh, mean honestly they, like i could have been like sometimes like i like I think about all the opportunities my dad had to like actually like flog me, flog me. Like he was, <laughs> uh, I could have been finished some, at some point, but there was one time that like I, I like, uh, I was like, my mom was like talking to me. You know, like when you're older and you have you've mm-hmm. a little bit of chest, right? Yeah, I yeah, was talking about your mom. You know, I, I talked back to my mom, bro. I, it's not no, as if like I, I insulted her or anything like that. I just yeah. talked back. I was like, I was like, you know when you talk back, it's not as if you're insulting the person, mm-hmm. but you know it's, it's disrespectful yeah, yeah. that you talk back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. argue you back. Yeah, you argue like, you back. My dad was like, "Oh, he didn't mean it that way." He, what he was trying to say was this, 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 this. My dad, when my dad interpreted it, I was like, "Cause you know when your dad gets it, it's over. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, over." Yeah, 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 but he was yeah. like, "Oh, he didn't mean it that way." You like know? he was trying to fight for you, looking. No, he wasn't trying to fight for me. He was trying to explain the situation to my mom that that's not mm-hmm. what he was trying to say. Cause I screamed at the top of my lung. We were in the car going yeah. to church. And my mom was just making me, and you know, I was boiling. I was like, bro, I'm just going to say, say this shit and take it. I know all my siblings were there. My siblings yeah. were there. My siblings were there. always talking back to, to mommy. What's it's wrong with you? Awkward, man. It's always awkward, man. always wrong with you. And you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm crying because it was like, Ooh. but my dad was like, oh, he didn't mean it that way. So, oh, he didn't mean it that way. But, 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 but like, if he meant it the way, and I actually meant it the way he was trying to explain it, <laughs> I would have finished him. <laughs> you know, I would have flogged. I was like, oh my God. But your heart, you knew what you meant. Though. I knew, I knew what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I, definitely, I definitely knew what I meant. I meant the one my dad was saying. But yeah, ah, bro, I'd have died. 
You know what I mean? Because I doubt that he would have finished me. Like, finished, Loki, finished me. Loki, I feel like that thing, that thing is something that I, like, I'm slowly getting over it now. Mm-hmm. But, like, to be more patient with it. But I remember, like, I remember, like, promising myself. Like, anytime I saw my mom and Chima argue, mm-hmm. I remember promising myself that, yo, if I ever see my son try this thing with my wife, I'll fuck him up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I literally was, yeah. Like, I literally, like, in my head, because that thing used to trigger me so much. Because mm-hmm. my head, I'm just like, guy. I mean, obviously, we're going through our teenage age. So yeah, like, yeah. This, this is your it's teenage boy age. It happens out there, like, when you're the first sword, it's, it's a bit different, yeah. to, obviously, you know. It's like, where you're I able like, to articulate yourself, you know, try mm-hmm. to yeah. argue yeah. it. And, and like, you're not, not longer in the stage of, like, mommy this, mommy that, mommy this, like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, it, you like know, sometimes you have to, like, you have to say what you want to say. You know what I mean? Which is cool, you know. And honestly, honestly, sometimes you need to be like that though in life. You know, I mean, I mean it's just, it's because just a you need to be like that. because to if, an extent. If, because of if you really think about it, those that is your senior of authority. That's the most senior yeah. person you can ever talk to in your life. Your parents, you yeah. feel me? Uh, so like, it's like if you're able to, you know, it's like it's like it's, it's not as if it's always right, but sometimes you need to like defend yourself. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. But if you're able to defend yourself, that's a kind of a characteristic that you need in life, basically, because mm-hmm. of like sometimes you need to question authority. Mm-hmm. You need to yeah. question oh, people like what, what what the hell are you saying? Right. <laughs> and they're not always right, exactly. You're not always yeah, right. No. And most of that parents need it, you know, like because mm-hmm. parents just be saying they need to be checked. Mad <laughs> times, and yeah. it's just like, bro, like, can you actually explain what you're trying to tell yeah. me right now? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So there's room for that, but then to me, there's also a limit to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously, me and me and Chima and definitely me, passed that limit. Always being pushed. Yes, for sure. And it's always and it's always and it's always with the moms, with the dads. You're not going to say anything. Oh no, my sister be giving my dad. Nah, oh. she nah. My nah. younger I mean, sister, she I mean gives like my girls, dad. I mean, like girls, like nah, my, like my honestly, my sister is pretty calm. Nah, but for the most part, like like I said, we didn't have any favorites, mm-hmm. right? Technically, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but my sister was kind of like my dad's favorite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? And it's, it wasn't bad, and I wasn't pissed about it. Mm-hmm. So like, I was just like, like I almost even expected that. I was just like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it makes like, fucking three of us. There's only one of her. Yeah, it makes sense. yeah, <laughs> you know. But so you can see that, so that you can see that she might get a bit more, you know, leeway. Even though my dad is still check out, be like, yo, yeah, don't even try that with me. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? but like, for the most, but she's also not really, she's also a pretty calm, yeah. you know, like cool nah, kind of girl. My, my, so it wasn't that bad. My, my, my da- sister's a hothead. Nah, <laughs> my my dad is the general of the house. My dad, my dad has never touched my sisters. Like he's never like t- like physically touched them, like flogged them or anything like that. It's my mom that does it for the girls. But like my. There's no way in hell that you can like because they see what they <laughs> he does to us. <laughs> and my dad would threaten them like, yo, if you if you do this kind of thing, this is what you're gonna be. I know how girls are. Girls are sharp. When you tell them something, yeah, girls, they actually they, they, actually, they actually believe listen. it. Like, <laughs> like they will remember <laughs> it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it will be constantly in their head. Right? I mean, they're they are like, yo, I don't want to chop physical pain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you tell them get in and buff at five pm, yeah, like, they are probably going to do. They it are probably going to do they it. They know that they are going to get flogged. Yeah, yeah I know I'm going to get flogged, but this football right now is too sweet. Be <laughs> better, <laughs> you know. If like I'm so sure this, when the kid is coming, I'm literally shivering. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, like why? Why did I? I'll not be like regret. Like why was I playing football? Yeah, <laughs> but the next day I'll do the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that boys, boys are special breeds. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, <laughs> man. Like, but girls, when they become teenagers, though, they become very snappy with their moms too. You know, uh, like they become like cat and dog in a sense. But no, 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 no not really, so. not really, because of my my all three of my sisters. Because uh, mm-hmm. my dad, the way my dad instills the pressure on them, like you can't talk to anyone anyhow, because mm. of my dad is there. But you know me as a man. At a certain age, if you, I'm taller than my dad. I'm the tallest in the house. Just, <laughs> chest is just out. You know chest what I mean? Out, I'm yeah, getting yeah, stronger. Yeah. You know, I have, I have, you know, six packs. I'm feeling myself. At this, you know, the funny thing is, at this point, you're 15, though. Yeah, and, and you're 15. Thing. And yeah, you know, 15, you think about it. And you, like, think yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, you think you're, yeah, you think you're an adult. You think you're the shit. No, you're nothing, right? And uh, like, you know, you're able to do some mathematics that maybe like when you ask your parents, your parents cannot do. You know what I mean? <laughs> like they've forgotten how to do it. You know, it's like all those yeah. kind of stupid things. Like, okay, like, yeah. like I'm I'm getting to this stage where like you know I, like in terms of certain things like they cannot do what I can do. You feel me? Yeah. So you know, just is just puffed out. And so, sometimes like I think right now probably is uh, is the period of time was like right now is where like it's not say I can talk back to my dad, 
but there's a certain level of uh, I mean you can reason with him yeah there's, there's a certain yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a level of respect there's a, that there's a level of respect but a, I have my own red lines too now if that makes yeah. sense you know I, I can establish my like clearly this is the line I have but you yeah. know from a growing up, I'm also the firstborn. So, like, it's kind of like, oh, like, I, I still have that respectful kind of, you know, mm-hmm. tendencies towards him, if that makes yeah. sense. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm always seeking guidance and stuff like that. So, like, yeah. it's not as if, like, I'm, I'm like the, you know, I'm, I'm a 24-year-old girl and, like, these are my red lines. You know what I mean? And yeah. I pe- technically, I have no responsibility in the family or in terms of certain areas. I mean, I still have responsibility, but res- the main responsibilities of, like, being... So so and so the the potential head of the household and stuff like that is not there. You feel mm-hmm. me? That pressure is not there. So it's kind yeah. of like um understandable. So like you know, that like, like you know, I'm I'm like, oh, I would have to be like a mediator. You know, all this kind of mm-hmm. nonsense. Makes you know sense. what I mean? I have to be calm. I'd have to be calm and collect that. Kind of the mediator guy as well. I was always kind of the And it's kind of funny though. That I'm, yeah. I, I'm the mediator now. Before, I mean, like, like you, I don't imagine you be the mediator at, at all. all. Yeah, <laughs> like at all. <laughs> no, but yeah, you imagine. But like, in you, but, but you know when I'm serious. You know when I'm serious. Yeah, like know. there are certain yeah. things that when I'm, I mean, I'm just playing around. I can play around. Like I love playing around. But like when it's serious, like I take shit seriously, and I know, and I yeah. know the right things to say at certain positions. You guys have seen that. I mean, you yeah, me? so remember that remember that, that discussion that we had? Yeah, 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 that yeah. That's how Peter was very, very politically correct. I was just like, bro, like, I mean, it's nice to see the side of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still a bit like, I was just surprised, but I was just like, damn, this guy is being extremely, <laughs> like, I was just interested to see. Uh, because of, interested to see. because of you have to, un- you have to clearly state both sides and understand where they're coming from. You feel yeah. me? And like, uh, we are all adults at the end of the day. We are all like individuals, regardless of, you know, the family you come from. You feel we all have our own tribes. We all have different, you know, um, feelings towards certain things. So you have to understand that. And it, and the main thing, the key thing is keeping the family together. That's yeah. the number one thing. Number one thing. You can't, and as well as, as, as someone has to do it. You know someone what I mean? It's so, the older you get. Someone has to do it. And like, you cannot be the person that is like, everyone cannot be selfish. Arguing for themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone has to be selfless. And like usually that responsibility comes to, you know, the it's kind of different now than it used mm-hmm. to be. Before it was like mm-hmm. clearly the boy was the head of the house and had like certain things. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But now it's kind of yeah. different the responsibility of being the first son. But you still have to have that core um understanding of being yeah. the selfless person in terms of you know Helping, there's still a, there's helping still your a siblings. Expectation, right? There's yeah. Because back in the days, the first, the first born was the one, especially the first guy, mm. would be the one that would literally drop out of school, go and become a house help somewhere to yeah. send his siblings to school. Mm-hmm. school. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what they did. Obviously, mm-hmm. now that responsibility depends on the kind of the family you came from, mm-hmm. privilege and all that. It's not necessarily on you, mm-hmm. but there's still a certain expectation. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Like everyone still looks to you yeah, yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, when it's like, okay, like, okay, like, you to be an example, you to do this, you to do that, you to do that, like, so that your siblings can also follow. Because technically, we actually look up to them. Yeah. Like, even though, like, me and Chima were very close in age, mm-hmm. for a lot of my life, I was looking up to him. Especially, especially yeah. in school, like, when you when you hear, like, exactly. you know, this guy did in this, school, this guy did this. Like, things that, things that, even though, like, just because we were so close in age, we kind of influenced each other. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Like, I influenced him on the sports side, all these things. He mm-hmm. influenced me on more like, the academic side. Mm-hmm. Where I'm more like, okay, like, maybe not academic, academic, but more like just interest in engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because it would be the like, oh, I like, like, I want to be an engineer. Let me talk about, like, oh, I want to be an engineer. <laughs> and then it was, it was like, oh, let's build this. You know, let's do this. Let's yeah. do this. That. It was just me and him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So even though we fought the most, we were still the Yeah, closest. Yeah, because mm-hmm. of you, because it's both of you guys would talk. <laughs> Yeah. Every day you're talking. Exactly. You, know, you, you guys want the same. Life. You guys want you guys, you know, when you're watching Discovery Channel, when you find that code Discovery Channel, you know, like, oh Yo. Chima, you know, it's Animal Planet. You know, oh Chima, you want come, let's watch Animal Planet. Me to even watch all those. You know, exactly. The one that started watching that, then I started watching I was, too, I, was literally, of I was literally the one that started watching Animal Planet and Discovery yeah. Channel. Then my you know how 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 it's um, how, how it's made. We had that TV show Discovery How Channel. Made, yeah, Discovery. Like, How was made, meets Busters, all exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. I was literally <laughs> one that started watching that that stuff. Then my younger brother started watching them. You know, I mean, kind of like my younger sister, but you know, she was kind of doing her own yeah. thing. So it's kind of yeah. you know, she's a girl. She's kind of. But my me, me and my younger brother, we used to watch the shit out of that stuff. Oh man, but but hey, you should have had a brother, man, for real. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
honestly. Oh, uh, so do, do, you, uh, do you want boys and girls? I mean, you know, you, you, I want boys and girls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Peter, you want boys and girls for sure. I want. I want. I want a daughter. Like I, I know. I know. I want a son, but I want a daughter yeah. too. You yeah. Know? Same, 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 same. Like I want my, I want my I want, beautiful I want little girl. Boys. I want three boys, just because I feel like that's that's a good number for my army, my little army. Like like little versions of myself, I can just be like, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> little <laughs> versions of myself. <laughs> and then, but I still need oh my my, my daughter that can pump her. You know, like honestly, I want two daughters. Yeah. But I'll be satisfied with one. But I want two though. Nah, you need two. Mm-hmm. I think I got. I think I think two will be a good. Honestly, mm-hmm. just honestly, I feel that I, I like three girls. I just like I the dynamic. I want three girls I, and three boys. I want three girls. Ooh. I want three girls Olé. and two boys or three or three boys. I'm yeah, perfectly okay girl. with that. Aye, three girls would be too much for me, man. Like my headache would be mad. <laughs> that's no, my dad right no, now. <laughs> Tissom, 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 your headache won't be mad. It'll be so chill. Like, girls are so chill. We're chill. Girls are so... It's the boys. All you have to worry about is boys. That's it's the it. boys that... Has, it's like, the boys need, like, a different kind of, you know, system. No, what I'm saying is, I feel like with the boys, yes, on the onset... But the kind of that you harder. are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on the onset, you have to work harder. Yes, that's fine. But then we grow... You have to be very delicate with their emotions. Yeah. The boys, you know, because, I mean, obviously, I'm not being sexist, but generally, the boys, you know, it's pretty straightforward with them. Just like, boom, 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 I'll flog you. Mm. You know, I'll do this. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you can like, be direct. I'm like being aggressive, but it can be a lot more direct. But obviously, I'm still going to be emotionally intelligent with my boys. Yeah. yeah. Right? But with my girls, I feel like I need to be extra emotionally intelligent. Yeah. Because what I tell them might not be the way they receive one. They receive yeah. That's yeah. why I definitely need my wife to support me a lot. Mm. Yeah. Because <laughs> you get what Because I don't think like a woman most of the time. So with them, it's like that. Because cause even just growing up and I feel like the version of my sister I have right now is not really the version of how I grew up with. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then the stories that she tells me about like how just like the teenage age treated her and all that was completely off from the reality that I thought she was experiencing. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I, my eyes just opening like, bro, like, yep. I feel like I'm I, I feel like I'm just meeting you. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I, I, I definitely understand what she's so be saying because girls transform so, like so rapidly. Yeah. Like so like in that teenager, like boys is kind yeah. of like a steady increase of like learning about themselves. But you know who those yeah. boys are. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I said, like, I said they have like a traumatic experience, you know, but like yeah. boys are like, boys just grow up and like they get slowly mature. But girls yeah. can just go like zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> like you can see like a mature girl, like because yeah. of boyfriend, just completely goes left. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Exactly. With guys, it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, I broke up with my girlfriend. It's like, okay, let's go play FIFA. <laughs> 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 That's how guys think. You know, yeah. obviously, guys are emotional too. They'll be crying. Yeah. I miss uh, Ribina. You know, I miss, I miss, I miss um, you know, Capri Sun. You know, I, I cried miss, at the park. Yeah, I, 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 ah! I, I, I cried at the park. But guys, you know that like next tomorrow morning, they'll carry their boot, yeah. their soccer boot, and go play football. And like, you oh. know, they'll be smiling. And like that mm-hmm. estrogen will, um, will be more pos- positive there. But for girls, yeah. you know, they are much more indoors in Nigeria, sure. They're much more yeah. in their books and in their feelings. Right, so yeah. just imagine that, like, so it's a whole different kind of, a whole different kind so, of feel, man. Honestly, maybe we can even break it down. Like, how, actually, I mean, I've talked about it already, mm-hmm. but we didn't get the girl version, I guess. I was just like, uh, how like people deal with breakups and all that, difference between guys and girls. You know, I, I feel like girls be moving mad during breakups sometimes, though. Of course, like, bro. <laughs> We oh, level up. <laughs> just like damn, man. Like the girls, like, the girls, maybe, maybe at least the girls really yes. level up, though. I it's mean, like they just move. Boom. I'm just like damn. Like, did, did you, did you G- care? Give about us me? one week. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls, girls move fast. <laughs> girls move fast, like, bro. <laughs> like guys, guys is kind of like, uh, you know, it's like I'm just gonna try to get my my you know day to day life sorted out basically yeah you know what I mean yeah. I was gonna uh, they're like when it's yeah, later get, get used to life they're just gonna yeah. get used to life then when it's later they start hitting them but to hit mm-hmm. them is like oh like damn but like it's not mm-hmm. they are thinking about it every day but it's like when is your Instagram <laughs> 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 that's how their emotions <laughs> 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 you know what I mean I, hit I, I think it lasts longer for guys like I think it, it hits guys yeah like, it hits girls hard but it hits guys consistently yeah 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 does yeah, that yeah. make sense like like yeah. a girl like wreck full of parts 
two weeks later, a month later, she's out. She's like, okay. We hit the gym and it's a like new I'm, person. I'm a fly. <laughs> hit yeah. the gym and it's a new person. Guys, we hit the gym <laughs> and we're still feeling it. <laughs> yeah. And because of, I, I, uh, we're not connected to the, I mean, some guys are, some guys are like, you know, yeah. when their girlfriend breaks up with them, they go and like, yeah. you know, become like sexy as fuck, you know, uh, male models and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But like, most guys, like when they get, when they break up, they just, they don't go back and do their regular thing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, yeah. why not out there trying to be emotional? And I believe she broke up. I think we feel it though for a long time. We feel like we it's, just, it's we just internalized. Yeah, it we it's, in, it's internalized. Like it's just like yeah. it's like damn. You know when you're in your bed and you're yeah. just like damn. <laughs> thinking. It's like oh, you're just like you don't shake your head like oh. you know. I, I, it feels so real. Yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah. Damn, bro. It, it happens like that, but you know, guys are able to understand that emotion, like, what they're feeling. Like, they are very retrospective. They're like, they can look at themselves outwards, like, I understand what I'm feeling and it's okay to feel like this. I feel like most regular guys understand that. But, like, obviously, so they still acknowledge the, the feelings because when you when you like a girl, like, that girl is you know, it's like, damn. You know what That's I mean? Like, 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 I think I think it's a bit harder. It's for, because I don't know if it's true, but it's a bit harder for us to fall in love. But Yeah. Then, it's also harder for us to fall out of it. Yes, because of right. because of what happens with guys is like you know when you shoot many shots, right? Yeah, and like you hit or miss, but like when you shoot a specific shot and it lands, and it lands, and like it goes farther than what like the way you wanted it to go, you th- like yeah. when you intended it to like, go, you know it's like just like why does this girl have this hold on me right now? Yes, like, and like it's, it's like it's like kind of like how you envisioned it in your head, mm. if that makes sense, mm. and it's much more meaningful. You know what I mean? So because of you able to set out, you able to execute your plan basically. Mm-hmm. With yeah. girls, it's like I mean, it's with girls, it's like oh, you have to accept the guys' feelings. I mm-hmm. look at think that I look at think that guys we take we take it more seriously when we say something like oh, I love you. Oh, uh, s- it depends. It depends. I well, it when depends. I say that, when I say that, in the sense, obviously, I'm talking about fuck boys, right? Like fuck boys been doing their fuck boy shit. It mm-hmm. is what it is, right? But like, for the most part, like. At least my female friends, when I see them, they are a lot more comfortable, you know, like telling each other, oh, I love you, this and that. that mm-hmm. You know, I love you. Uh, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm telling just, you something I love you. <laughs> you just basically, I love you. Uh, yeah. I love you. Uh, love you. You know, but like, I mean, for me, I the older I got, the more the more comfortable I got saying I love you. Yeah. You know, but even before I say it, I try to make sure that I I'm mean not it. just yeah. chatting. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I'm not just like saying, oh, I love you just mm-hmm. for the for the sake of saying mm-hmm. that. I'm like, yeah. oh, do I actually love this person? Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh. I think I actually do. You yeah, know, right. <laughs> but, like, but like when I a guy, this when a guy says that to you, oh my gosh, the girl is probably over over the fucking moon because her ego is just being stroked right now. I got this nigga. Nigga, nigga said, "I love you." I nah, got it's a guy that doesn't say that much. And yeah, it's very a guy that doesn't say that much. Yeah, you know, and a guy who is like just a, a bro, you know, what mm. I mean, like just like a toxic yeah. motherfucker. Because I, I, I love you, son. I got this nigga. <laughs> I that, got this that's, why, that's why they stay with the fuck boys. They try to transfer them into. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but with, with those fuck boys, they say they say I love you so many times. It doesn't really, really mean okay, anything. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So they're, they're also the guys that abuse it. Yeah. I just they're just used to lying. Mm-hmm. They just yeah. be lying left, right, center. I'm just like bro, yeah. like let's relax with that. But shout out to our siblings. This episode though. has been all over the place, honestly. Yeah, but it's been it's been a, it's been a good one though. I enjoyed it's it. Been a good good conversation. I like yeah. it. I only God knows how long it actually is. <laughs> But um, yo, you guys have any last words? Or do you, do you want to end it here? Um, uh, what? Shout out to Moi Moi, cause I miss Moi Moi, Moi Moi and egg. We did a little bit of you know chicken um fish. Wait, meat is that Wait, meat, meat meat? I don't like fish in Moi Moi. I, I like fish in Moi Moi. I like fish. I like fish. What what kind of meat do you put in Moi Moi? Like like, like boiled meat, like cow. Oh, uh, beef. Nah, I like. I fish. like goats in Moi Moi. Goats in Moi Moi is kind of weird. I like I like I like I like fish and. Egg, my my. I like egg. Egg is nice. Yeah, yeah. egg is nice. Wait, see what we're talking about. We're talking about <laughs> <my boy. laughs> uh, well, like, what's happening? Here? I'm just letting y'all finish. Finish yeah. what you <laughs> Oh man, we just have to have that. We, we have to have our moment, man, because all these things they are, they are important parts of our lives. They're important things in our lives. But yo, thank you so much for joining us in another episode of the afro journal podcast you know the vibes the conversations you never know where it's going to go but it's still all good vibes like share subscribe tell your auntie to tell her husband you know bring the good vibe bring the family in here so that we can all spread the love i'll leave you guys with the proverb for next week and it's actually a special one oh man so the proverb from next week is 
I've been losing friends on Fathom Peace. Sounds like a fair trade to me. Nice. Come through next week for the interpretation. Well, yeah, the one that's going to interpret. <laughs> I'll call drink. <laughs> you call drink. Wait, wait, before we go, before you call we Professor Drake. Before we go, before uh, we go, before go. Before we go. I'm so I, I get the character again. You know, you know what it is. If you're watching a video, you see what's going on. <laughs> uh, Peter, introduce yourself first. Do your, do, do your side out first. It's your <laughs> Yeezy on the beat. <laughs> it's your your Donda, Donda. Mm. Donda, 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 it's your Melanie and Chocolate Queen. Ooh, <laughs> classic. Chocolate sweet melanie. Classic, classic. Sole Akume. <laughs> you can never oh, go wrong. You never go wrong with that one. And it's your flavor now, Banya. Because I also forgot who I was at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot who I was at the beginning. But yo, actually, I said I was Chef Curry, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's your chef, Chiso, Chiso, Educ. That's all. Right. <laughs> your chef, Chiso, Chiso. <laughs> okay. Your chef, Chiso, Chiso, Educ. Jerry, Jeremiah, Okafor, Kobe, Hot. You know. We'll be out, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>